How's everyone doing? I'm sitting a little too hard. Alright. I've had a very slow day today. I wanted to make a stream earlier, but I was busy. I got a haircut. My head feels nice and clean. Mopey. I'm feeling mopey. are all shaved. My hair doesn't quite stick up very much right now, but I'll do stuff to it to make it stand up right tomorrow. What is up with my camera angle? Is it... Are we... I did good again. I think I'm fine. I think I'm fussing or nothing. Okay, so today I am drawing... Um, as the title says, self-indulgent stuff. Because I don't have any conditions right now, and I'm, I feel like treating myself. So I'm drawing uh, my Sunday D&D game character with Dracula. Because Dracula is their warlock patron. I am in the way. Wee. I'm, okay, I knew my camera angle was off. I'm sitting normally, but my camera thinks I'm squatting. What happened? Okay, hold on. Can you see me now? Pretty good. Okay. Now it's too low. This was all fine right before I started. Okay, this should be good now. taking up so much of the screen because I'm all by myself right now. So you get to have all of this up here. This is Fritz. Full disclosure, Fritz is a self-insert. That's me with bleached tips.
in that Fritz's game. It's almost Valentine's Day. They're gonna have a date night with their patron. Because my DM is too kind to me. Portion's looking bad. Let's fix that. Today we vibe it. We vibe it, we vibe it. Thank you. I love Okami, one of my favorite games. Highly recommend it. Whoops. Where is that going? I would play the Swan Lake music. That's in Dracula, but for some reason that gets things copyright stricken, even though Tchaikovsky is public domain. Ugh. So rude. Homophobic. since like the first week I started streaming. Let me see this. <laughs> Is this referencing something before I say this? <laughs> Okay, here we go. 
All I did was spray Capri Sun on my plug and play, and since I bought it from you guys, I thought maybe I could get a refund. How was that? Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I hope that's not going to be used for something nefarious here, but that I don't comprehend. I don't comprehend how a bow tie is supposed to be shaped. Not how I'm drawing it, that's how. <laughs> Somehow I don't trust you. There's, um, some people who've been going around of YouTubers and getting them to say these nuts. And it's probably for some sort of compilation. They don't get the YouTubers saying these nuts, they get to say the, the lead up to it. Like this. Like, is this from Sukan? And the YouTubers like, Sukan what? Sukan these nuts? I've seen it happen to at least two people in my immediate space. <laughs> Me too. It's a very, um, harmless joke. That's pretty fun. Wow, Abby. That's some, that's some high standards you're setting there. Tomorrow, um, I, I made this announcement in my collab zone, but I haven't said anything publicly yet, but I probably will after stream. Um, or I'll make a post about it after stream, but I can talk about it now. Tomorrow, uh, me and a couple of stream friends are going to be doing a drawing challenge where we randomly generate a Pokemon and we try to redesign that Pokemon as if it were a Digimon. It's gonna be a fun time. It's gonna be great. I'm very excited. I have at least, I, I, I think at least four people who are gonna participate. No guarantees. Yeah, I'm super excited. <laughs> Sir, how does your bow tie work? I'm gonna have to just simplify it, I don't understand.
was that for some reason my VTuber just went like what? Like a jitter forward in a very visually jarring way. I'm gonna zoom that one a little bit. something I'm going to bend over in a weird way to pick it up, so I'll just keep, just be away from that. Here we go. I love bending over my entire model just snapping in half. Something. Wow. Okay. Hi. Hello. 
by me or be full of surf. Hello, hi, Cleopas. Hey, Cleopas. Me or Cleopas? You. Yeah. Ah, I'm good. Uh, I I finally finished my first playthrough of Baldur's Gate, so I can chill out a little bit on the game <laughs> <laughs> with my second playthrough. You you've been re released from the Iron Grip slightly. Slightly, but it is still there. It still lingers. In the <laughs> <laughs> I am not fully escaped yet. I wish you strength. I... <laughs> Have you been? Boy, I'm tired. That's fair. I'm, I'm a bit sleepy too. I had a really out. sleepy day today, so I got, I got a haircut today. But my mm. haircut appointment was at a time where I felt I had to get up earlier than normal so that I could shower and eat beforehand so I don't rush to get to it. So I wake up like two hours early than usual, and by the time I'm done eating and showering, I still have like an hour until I have to leave, so I just went back to sleep. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> And then my brother drove me to my appointment, and I didn't have my coffee until I got home from my appointment. By oh. which time, I had consumed my coffee, and it didn't kick in fast enough, so I went to sleep again. <laughs> oh no. I'm a, I'm a bit of a mess today, but I'm keeping it together. That's fair. How's your sleepiness doing? Um... Okay-ish, uh, mostly just the, we have to, so at my workplace, we have to dump some jars, um, cause like, sometimes the samples don't get sent back to the company they ask, like, they just want the data. Yeah. So, we have to dump them, but it's like, 35 degrees today, and we have to do it outside, and we're dumping a lot. So, and I don't mesh well with heat, so that combination, plus me admittedly not going to bed earlier than I should because of a certain game that does still have a bit of an iron grasp on me. Oh gee, I wonder what that was! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Um, I, I got into like a, a fight early game, not like, a, like a, a basic fight early game, and I'm like, oh, I think I can finish this in time. By the time I was done, I'm like, oh shit, it's 1 a.m. You fool! How could you do this? <laughs> I did it. And at least you're having fun. Yeah, and um, it's a short week anyway, so... Um, Plus... Like, do you get Friday off? Uh, no, but we had Monday off. Oh, okay, I forgot Labor Day. Mm -hmm. Um, but what is nice is I believe it is raining tomorrow, so we are not planning to dump jars. Nice. So, tomorrow and Friday, I should have off of Jar Dump, which is a little nicer. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to, like, not come home as, like, sitting in the boiling sun. Yeah. Winter needs to come faster. Oh, I want is fall, and I want fall to last for a long time. <laughs> Perfect balance of, like, cool... But not so cool and I'm freezing. Yeah, Florida doesn't get super cold during the winter. Mm. We did have a few days last winter where it was well below freezing, but it's not like a common thing. Mm -hmm. So winter here is like sweater weather, it's great. No, nah, that's fall for us. Yep. Winter here, especially in January, is frozen. Yep, you're too high north. Too far. Too high north. I'm too far. And I'm too far south. <clears throat> Gotta meet in the middle. Gotta meet. Well, I mean, technically, from what I've seen, um, at the moment, we are kind of going to be, like, where I'm located, the middle one day. <laughs> Stop. We don't have to acknowledge it right now. We don't, we don't have to. <laughs> well, no, that means everyone has to live with where I live, which means all my friends live near me. <laughs> okay, that's a plus. <laughs> <sighs> Hey, would you like to, um, would you like to tell the chat what happened with Beaumont in our last session? Yes, I will. <laughs> Please do. I just info right. jumped to my housemates about it, and I need to hear it from your mouth. Alright, alright. So, 
for those who are who might be new to the story of the Sunday uh, Ghoulie Gang Squad's adventure, um, the setup is our characters are trying to film a ghost hunting show with the twist that ghosts and fae and all that stuff, it's real. Ghosts are real, magic is real, um, but it's not as simple as just, like, magic is everywhere. Yes, Rose, a D&D story. Um, so, our characters consist of, um, bulls, who I believe you're drawing right now. Yeah, I with... have to play, I, I can actually characters up. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, there's Bull's yeah, character, boy. Fritz, um, who I believe is, like, one of the camera... Yeah, like, you're, like, the camera person. Yeah. Um, and... Then... <laughs> Uh, then there is Enrique, who is sort of the, like, Mike, Mike guy, um, very changeling. Uh, then there's Wesley, who's our tech guy. He's a werewolf, or, um, I guess a were, uh, what's that big buff, buff fluffy dog? Uh, Tibetan Mastiff. Yeah, we're, we're, we're Betten Mastiff, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um... And then my character, Beaumont, who is a disgraced fake medium, except it turns out he's a real one. He's a divination wizard. He can see the future. Um... Yeah, I, I can't move my hands to point at him. Oh. Point at him <laughs> with my fire. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> so that's my guy. And the big thing about Beaumont is he's like the oldest of the group. Um, he's like 38. And this is set in 1999. Yes. Um, so he, his thing is, he's a gay man from, uh, originally born in Louisiana, but from, uh, Virginia, or grew up in Virginia, um, and was actually part, like, was around for, like, the AIDS crisis and all that stuff, so he's, like, big into that, was a huge advocate and, like, fighter of that. And that's important for this story to understand yeah. what happened last game. You need to know that Beaumont was, like, he was raised to be a fake, um, like, child pastor because, um, he showed, like, aptitude in, like, magic tricks, which turns out, as he's just recently learned, was real magic. He knew magic as a child. He lived in an area where magic was potent there and he could tap into it. Uh... But his mother was told, oh, no, you'll get, like, farther if you get him into the, the church circuit. Um, or the tent circuit. I guess the, the church, yeah, church tent circuit, I think, is the term. I'm forgetting the name right now. Uh, point is, dude, raise it a family that because of that... Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, like, classic evangelical stuff. Yeah. So... Religious drama of BS. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Um, well, my, holding hands. <laughs> yeah, pretty much the whole day that they go into a church, like, we gotta be strong for each other. <laughs> but they both go, so, like, we're both. So, Beaumont flee, like, leaves his family the second he turns 18 and goes to, like, New York State. And that's where he gets into, like, fighting against AIDS and gay rights and, like, um, actually joins a group. I, I looked it up online, my rain is flatlining right now. Oh, Radical Fairies, that's it. Um, yeah, they they are a worldwide network uh counter country that are like um like very much pro, pro like queer like just queerness and like not like no gender norms that kind of stuff. So like very colorful, very like pro LGBTQ kind of nice. deal. So, at least from what I've read. Um so eventually he gets into the fake media thing, gets disgraced, becomes this uh, TV host. Time passes, you know, we're doing the show, we're going on this stuff, and Valentine's is coming up. This takes place in, in the month of February of this year, or of 1999. And at some point, we're on a quest to essentially destroy a manor that belongs to this like asshole rich family that also is tied to a lot of like really fucked up shit in the area. And we're like, we need to get weapons because we're not armed to go after a manor. And this guy who's willing to help us in town goes, go to a place called Bob's Gun Emporium. He'll sell you stuff. Just tell him Bubba sent you. 
So we go. We, we're all nervous because, like, our group is essentially, um, what should we call it? Like, we're all some flavor of either LGBTQ or not white. Yeah. So we're all like, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, the only, the only two, like, white people are a <laughs> non-binary trans person and a gay man. <laughs> the gay man from the fucking AIDS crisis. <laughs> Oh no, it's better than that, Rose. Oh, it's better than that. Oh boy. Oh well, boy. So we go in, and m of all the group, my character is the best to lead because he dresses pretty, like basic, when he's out shopping, and like it, it'll be easier for him to like talk to the head, you know, to the guy. So we go, hey, we're looking for Bob. Bubba sent us. A store clerk goes get him. Guy comes downstairs, and the guy essentially looks like, Wait, by the way, in just don't, don't, don't say it. I'll get a picture. I'll get a picture. Hold yeah. On, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Bull will send you a picture so you uh, understand. Okay. Okay. It's Ron Perlman. Yeah, Ron Perlman. Um, ima but imagine like the kind of shades and sort of like style that Ron Perlman had in the Pacific Rim. Yeah, I'll get that picture too. Yeah, no, that's a good one to really kind of emphasize. Yeah, I know! It's great! It's really freaking good! But it gets even better than that. So, dude looks like Ron Perlman. You know, from Pacific Rim, but sells guns. And at some point, our DM says to me, Hey, can you roll me a history check? And, like, it's clear that this might be someone Boma recognizes. And, like, previously I had rolled a check. And it was like to determine a TV personality. So I thought that was going to happen. I'm like, okay, do I, I, I'm a divination wizard. I have access to portents. Um, I rolled an 18 that day. I'm like, do I dare use my 18? And we're, and they're like, you know what? If we need charisma, Felix is, oh not Felix. Um, Prince. Prince, sorry, my brain was thinking of the character. Uh, the <laughs> cat from, our, our cat from work. <laughs> uh, Prince is a warlock, charismatic as fuck. So, yeah. Persuasion checks, we got that covered, so it's like, yeah, go ahead. I'm like, yeah, I roll an 18, which means it's a 22. Uh, Bob is not recognized from TV. Beaumont is told he recognizes Bob when Bob was a little bit younger, uh, maybe not as muscular, redder hair, and had a ball gag. And the second the ball gag was mentioned, I realized, oh my fucking god, this is someone from Beaumont's past when he lived in New York State, when he was <laughs> in the clubbing scene in that kind of environment. And essentially, the two just go on a massive, like, reminiscing on everything that happened and like going on like a one point yeah oh yeah i know rose <laughs> like at one point bob like points out like yeah you know things have changed like not too long ago i mean i had this one little side piece we're not together unfortunately but like we went to like a like a wine like tasting thing and like we were together and no one went over to question us like we're allowed to actually be open in public now and we're not gonna get shit for it and like just gushing about that and then nieces and nephews and we get taken to like Bob's office to like, you know, sort out the guns without having to go through any of the checks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we all walked into this place super nervous because almost none of us are used to being around guns at all. So we're like, oh, we don't want him to be here. And as soon as Bob realizes he's like best friends with this guy, all the tension's gone and it's so cute. Yeah, it is. Um, and the two just start gushing about nieces and nephews and all this stuff. And eventually, um, oh yeah, one of the really cute parts is, uh, we have, like, again, a bit of a unique system for weapons. Um, and so I, my character gets a shotgun because that's one of, like, of the weapon, like, proficiencies he can use. And our DM says, for Beaumont only, and I said, you, you won't, Beaumont won't know it until he uses it. Uh, he gets a plus one shotgun because Bob's really happy to see Beaumont again. So That's I get like a. Yeah, oh no! Oh no, here's the best part! Here's where it gets even more wholesome. Um, so, Valentine's is the next day in game. Uh, and at this point, at that point, my character was like, <laughs> it is gay and cute. Yes. Um, my character was going to help Fritz with something else, 
because he's like, I got no date and I, I don't really want to go out, you know, like, Beaumont hasn't dated for, like, almost ten years. Like, his last, um, last date, or, like, last person he was with did pass away, and that was kind of, like, the breaking point for him to just be like, I'm done, you know, uh, he actually has the, uh, just real, real quick aside, he has the disadvantage, not disadvantage, but the, whatchamacallit, it? um, Oh, the flaw, like, my good, my best days are behind me, all that's left is the worst. <laughs> so, he's very, right, like, change no, that. <laughs> that will be changed. But, what happens is at one point, Bob says, oh, are you doing anything soon, like, tomorrow? And Beaumont's like, no, I got nothing. Beaumont's totally forgotten that he promised <laughs> <to help> me <laughs> with the thing. Um... And essentially the two are like, oh yeah, we gotta meet up tomorrow, and Beaumont's like, it's a date. And so now Beaumont actually has a fucking date with Bob. <laughs> it's gonna be so cute. It is, and like, Beaumont went on this whole quest to get flowers and chocolates, and like, all my checks were being met. I was succeeding <laughs> all the fucking rolls, so I remembered the chocolates. <laughs> all of our Valentine's Day prep across the board had perfect rolls. It was poetic. Yeah. <laughs> Sure. See, our Beaumont gets to date fictional Ron Perlman. It's great. Good for it's him. beautiful. Also, uh, a thank you to a Toad Muncher Crimson. I got a tier one subscription. Yeah! Toad Muncher was fucking insane the other day. Yeah, hot thing. <laughs> I was working on a commission for him there. I'll show it. Ooh, show. Uh, let's see. Also, uh... Uh, I'll hit you up in a in a little while. I may or may not ask for a headshot because there's an old character that's come to mind that I may want to play one day, like a real oldie wizard. I'm always here. <laughs> oh my god, the leanest. <laughs> okay, I let's see. I got. How do I even show this? Give me a second, and I'm figuring something out. because I do want to do more animated commissions. I just don't have a whole lot of examples. Oh, Sherman. <laughs> Sherman's trying to grab my tablet pen. Do you want this? <laughs> you want it? Oh, he's sweating. He's smacking it. <laughs> I can't turn on my camera to show y'all because I'm uh, using my camera for bull tracking, but maybe you can hear him smack it next to the mic. I can definitely hear jingling the, the collar. This is me shaking my travel pen. Here. <laughs> Look at it. Smack, smack, smack. Oh, he's trying to bite it. <gasps> I'm just gonna narrate the Sherman action. Oh, Sherman he's action. <laughs> he was swatting at it and trying to bite it. Oh. <laughs> No. Uh, okay. Pick my tablet back up. I'm like, whenever I bend down to pick up my tablet, I just like disappear into you. <laughs> yes! Now it's my show! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, on, on Valentine's Day, two of our characters officially have a date. Uh, yeah. I. Uh, I'm gonna say that Enrique has a date with every single middle-aged woman in church. Uh, 
Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Oh, I'm I'm thinking the exact same. Gonna take them all out to dinner. Yeah, and I was on call with Cream the other night, and I was like, everybody's gonna date but Wes. We gotta get Wes a date. And he said, don't worry about it. I've got that handled. And I'm like, what does that mean? What I feel like Wes. I feel like Wes is gonna become big puffy dog and just run around and like get <laughs> all the pets from everybody. I like I I have an idea of what might happen with him, but I'm not gonna say it out loud because I don't want to jinx it. Ooh, Especially because Cream's wa Cream is on the he's watching the stream. I don't I don't if I have the right idea, I don't want to decide not to do it just because I said it. No, I I I think I might have an idea also, but yeah, I'm not gonna say it either. I don't want not to this. I'll be on you. Oh, yes. <laughs> the cream can't hear, but you can. <laughs> okay, I said to. Okay. Yes! <laughs> Was thinking exactly that too. Hell yeah. Let's Same see if we're right. Oh my god. Oh, that's not right. There we go. <laughs> so what Robot was originally gonna do on Valentine's Day was um Fritz is like really embarrassed about doing anything romantic with Dracula, especially because one of our party members still doesn't know he exists. <laughs> so Fritz is like, I don't want anybody to come find me after sundown. I don't want anybody to bother me. I don't want to even be perceived because I will be busy and I don't want to explain myself. And Bobot was supposed to be a distraction for that. Um, but seeing him get so excited about seeing his old friend and, um, having a date and everything, Fritz did not even try to remind him that he said he would do that because Fritz would prefer that he have this instead. Oh, I, I feel like in-game, the next day, Boma will just go to Fritz's door and be like, I just realized I, I was supposed to help you with something. <laughs> You're gonna find them dead with all their blood drained from their body. <laughs> But like a massive like thumbs up on the ground. <laughs> yeah, but they're just dead, stuck in the thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like ah shit. <laughs> oh man. I mean, if the day goes well with Bobot, he probably won't even be back in the morning. It'll take him a while to get back across the river. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jeremy, are you trapped? Are you trapped in my bedroom? Do I need to let you out? Just give me a second. Yeah. He's actually trapped this time. Oh no. Like, by the way, with like this, like you were stuck in this kind of like pose where you're looking straight down. Oh yeah. If I <laughs> and, like, if I leave the camera's view and I'm in any specific pose, I get stuck that way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're just just stuck like looking down. Let me see if I can get like really fucked up. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Sherman immediately came back in. Hi, buddy. <laughs> it's like, well, wait a minute. I don't want to leave. Leave. Honey, why are you purring at me? <laughs> oh, no, your neck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brithil just sitting here being like, well, can't snap his neck. <laughs> I have no bones in my neck to snap. <laughs> Slowly just like twist the head around like an owl. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Funny. oh. Yeah. Ah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> I've preset animations. That's amazing. Oh my god. Um 
The program I'm using is called Vignon, and it's supposed to get webcam hand tracking sometime this week. Ooh! It's, it's really janky, but it's better than nothing, so I'll be able to raise my hand and say hi. Yeah, I know. I don't think I'll be able to flip anybody off, but I can try. <laughs> you, you never Apologies know. Apologies for crinkly and opening crackers. Crinkly. Sustenance. Yeah. I can't wait for about to spend. I'm so no, devastated same. that this weekend is one of our break weekends. I know. <laughs> I didn't want my session to stop. I know what you mean. It was like, uh. We were on such a roll. The sad, the sad part is, it's like, on one hand, it's like, oh man, I think a bunch of us might have the day off, but then it's like, uh, but people still need to sleep. Yeah. Oh. It is what it is. It be what it be. Exactly. <sighs> I think the worst part in my case is Fritz's date won't start until after sundown. So oh. he's gonna be sitting there the entire day white knuckling whatever they're holding, <laughs> just waiting. Oh my god, it's like vibrating in place, like hmm. Please, somebody put the sun away. <laughs> hey, you know how every day I have a spell commune? Yeah? Um, are you able to commune with any god with that spell or just your own? Uh, I... Ooh, let me look that up real quick. Um, okay. I think it's with your deity, but let me... Let me check real quick, because I haven't used Yeah. a lot. Uh, just close this. I had wizard stuff on. I was looking at Beaumont's new spells. Okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, no! Uh, you're a deity or a divine proxy. What does that mean? Uh... Okay, let's see. Proxy tends to mean, um, okay, I'm not looking up, like, a server stuff, I'm looking up actual definition. Uh, okay, so yeah, the authority to represent someone else, especially, so, like, register vote, like, or, like, a figure represent. So, I don't think, uh, Enrique would be able to commune with Dracula. Okay. Because unless Dracula can be cons well, I mean, I don't does, know. Does it mean proxy as in like another higher being tied to your deity? Yeah. So it has to be tied to your same deity. Yes, I believe so. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my God, you know. <laughs> okay, I don't think Fritz can learn that spell. Um. But if Fritz were to use that, they would summon Renfield. <laughs> oh my god. Or maybe one of Dracula's oh. wives. Mm -hmm. That would be fun. Also, hi, Cree! Hello! I told Cree this the other night, so I'll tell you. Um, I said I was keeping Fritz's new spells mostly a secret because of bullshit I'm doing to them. Um, I won't tell you what they're multi-classing as, but they are multi-classing now. Ooh! But it... It technically has not activated yet, and you will find out when that activates. That's exciting. Hi, <laughs> Bree! Yeah? <laughs> I can't wait to 
ready to just show all the shit that I have on the back burner for after Valentine's Day. Yes. Screaming, crying, passing out. <laughs> I do like the idea of having the jacket and then proceeding to never use it the entire time. Yeah, like they're getting the jacket specially tailored. Yeah. It fits everything except their shoulder weight. And once they get it back, they're going to realize that actually I'm sweating. I have to take this off. Mm hmm. I'm sweating because I'm nervous. Not because I'm hot, because it's cold here. Cream and I have been watching um, Digimon Frontiers and the Four Kids Dub. Ooh. It is so fun. <laughs> Ooh. Every oh episode my God. has some stupid shit that they put into the dub, and I'm oh. like, the audacity. God damn, I didn't realize you guys were watching the dub. I would be doing it <laughs> more often. Well, now you know, we're, I don't think we're even halfway through the series, so there's plenty oh. more. We haven't gotten to Ice Demimon yet. Oh, good! Not yet, not yet. Oh, um, there's a character that was introduced. Um, she's like a free girl water Digimon, and she has a Southern Belle accent, and as soon as she showed up and started talking, I was like, Miss Pool? <laughs> Miss Pool, is that you? <laughs> Sounded just like her. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh, I can't, oh my god. The dub's terrible, but it's it circles back to amazing. Yeah, it's, of it. it's like the ghost stories effect where the dub is so bad it's good. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. You're welcome to join us at any time, folks. Hell yeah. I don't know if we'll watch any today. It's going to depend on how long I stream. Um, oh, yeah, no. I, I Not right now, but like in an hour and 30 minutes ish. I do need to go to bed. Yeah, you gotta be respectful. Responsible, you little stinker. I know. <laughs> Tragedy. Oof. Stretch time. <laughs> yeah. Take care of my poor little joints. Yeah, gotta take care of them joints. Yep. I want no jointy issue. I can't wait till Ice Demimon shows up and we all can't stop talking in that voice again. Oh my god, I know. I'm already tempted to do it again. <laughs> I'm not even this. Every time somebody comes in with like an out of pocket accent in Digimon, I'm like, okay, I have to adjust to this mentality. He's <laughs> like, okay, wait, give me a moment. Just, just. Just give me a moment. <laughs> <laughs> that was, um, okay. I forget what the Digimon was called, but it was like a little ogre looking dude. Was it Goblimon? Cream was it Goblimon? Um, but it was like a bunch of Goblimon dudes, and one of them came up to talk to the, their boss to tell them the situation. Like, oh yeah, this, this, and this is happening, and he has like the most normal voice up there screen. Hey. Hi, are you talking about my man, uh, normal human voiced Goblimon security guard? Yep, yeah, please, please, <laughs> tell the story, you'll tell it better. <laughs> I, I basically summed it up, but we were watching, uh, the episode of Digimon Frontiers where JP gets his, uh, his Digimon form. Um, and there was just a Goblimon who was, uh, reporting into the, like, big bad Digimon in that area. And the Goblimon just had, like, 
a normal human voice like it wasn't someone doing a funny voice or like an accent of any kind it was just it was like they got someone to just say hey just say this line just speak it in like a normal speaking voice it was really like out of place and really funny yeah uh dogfish i already got it i already got the uh. c2 on day one Unfortunately, at the moment, uh, I am not playing Scarlet or Violet. Um, I already spent a bunch of money on Baldur's Gate, so... <laughs> you sure fucking did. Yeah, you did. The Indian 2 oh. fight is, like, really hard. Mm. <laughs> it's really hard. Um, you you get a gift new to not a, a gift new or a mystery gift. And basically you have to use a new in the raid, otherwise you can't win. Wow. Oh. It's really oh, wow. it, it's a seven star raid and it does not fuck around. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow, I love Dracula. I forgot Pokemon Scarlet and Violet was still doing stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> the DLC comes out pretty soon in like a couple days. Part, part one of the DLC. That is soon. Yep. Yeah. Why would you do it twice? <laughs> oh, it's on the 13th? Fuck, that's way closer than I thought it was. Oh, that's farther than what I thought it was when you said a couple of days. It's like a... that's a week. A little less than a week. Just because you have both Scarlet and Violet doesn't mean you have to put yourself through that twice. Why did you buy both versions? Mm. Oh man, come on. Where is the voice acting? I need to hear this. <laughs> what are you looking for? The Gothamon! <laughs> oh. We <laughs> just like it. I need a pursuit. Uh, just, I will say, keep in mind, um, my, uh, I, if it's the same site I think you'll be linking, I won't be able to access it through Chrome. I have no idea if it is or not, so we'll find out together. <laughs> I think it's gonna likely tell me, warning, warning. Oh snap, we're on episode 17 of Frontier. Never mind. Oh, damn. Oh, it's we are... still not even halfway. Yeah, it's definitely not at the halfway mark, but we are farther in than I thought. God, it doesn't feel like we're 17 episodes in. This, it, this it has just been a trip. Past. It really mm -hmm. does. <laughs> were you, did you tell. Fluff about the amount of disrespect that the literal only uh, female character on the team gets. My gift. It's so bad. It's so bad. Oh no. She contributes nothing ever. And, okay, no. okay. First, okay. She, everybody who gets their Digimon form, get, like, they get it in a very empowering moment and they kick the bad guy's ass and they win. Except Zoe. Zoe gets hers, she starts fighting, it's cool for a second, and then she fucking loses, and somebody has to come save her. I'm like, she can't even have... She can't even have the stereotypical moment of getting, oh, a, getting a dig digivolution and winning. She can't... <sighs> no, she can't. She doesn't even... She's not allowed to follow the, like, the... the... typical formula. No, it's not allowed. And at one point, um... I should say she's never actually won a battle. She contributes so little anytime she transforms. Um, she, she she didn't have her Digimon form for like several episodes because it got stolen from her. And yes. when she got it back, it basically it, it she might as well have not had her Digi like her Digimon form because she basically had about as much impact. The, in fact, like when she got it back and fought the uh the Southern Bell Ronamon, um, like it was literally her first battle since getting her Digimon form back, 
and she didn't even win. Ranamon fucking got her beast form, couldn't control it, and like Team Rocket Style flew off into the distance. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. So the disrespect for Zoe is so ridiculous, but it's like, it's so consistent that it's getting really funny. There was <laughs> one point, okay, so she got her, her Digi, um, uh, her Digimon spirit stolen from her. Um, and the, di the evil Digimon that stole it got his ass beat for a couple seconds, and mm. one of the guys was like snatching his Digimon spirits to get it back. He grabbed it. One of the spirits that wasn't Zoe's took it. And then it was before, yeah, before he could go back and grab Zoe's, he regained consciousness and ran away. And before that happened, Crane was like, what if, what if they just, what if he just leaves before he, they can get Zoe's back? And it fucking happened. And we lost us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it it was a uh, it was Grumblemon. They they beat Grumblemon, and so by that point he had four like be he had four like spirits. They're called. He had his own. Um, he had uh, Zoe's, Tommy's, and then he had his like beast spirit slide evolution Gigasmon, and fucking uh, Burning Greymon, who mind you has two hands decides, I'm gonna do this one at a time instead, grabs the Gigasmon spirit first, like, absorbs it into his detector, flies in, I don't know why he was far away for this, but he flies in, grabs Tommy's spirit, and chucks it back to him, and, like, literally, as they're watching Tommy reabsorb his, uh, his spirit, Grumblemon regains, like Bull said, regains consciousness, and just, like, pieces out and like it was literally while uh while he was absorbing the the gigasmon spirit i said wouldn't it be so fucking funny if they had the audacity to just not give zoe her spirit evolution back in this if he just got away with it and he did oh my god It was so fucking funny. It was so. Oh my god. Hey, Rose, if you want a Digimon series aside from the first two seasons that doesn't does grow good, uh, watch Tamers. Mm. Rookie is the best. Rookie starts off really rough, I will let you know. She starts off rough, but by the end of the series, I would kill and die for her. Mm. Okay, I found the C. Uh, are you talking about Rookie? Yes. Wait, real quick. Um, Victorian, I have not seen it yet. Um, I have to have somebody else watch it first and tell me how bad the gore is first because I can't handle uh, gratuitous, gratuitous gore in movies. I do want to see it, but I need to be mentally prepared. Mm. Okay, you were saying. Good. Oh, uh... You could always go to doesthedogdie.com and like see the content warning listings on it. I could. I, I would just prefer like a friend of mine watch it first and be like, yeah, there's bad gore. Uh, it, it, is, it is like a very thing. There was a point in Renfield that almost made me feel sick, but um, it happened so fast that I got over it immediately. If it's I, does does the dog die describe if the gore is drawn out, or if it's really uh, quick? Because that's like my biggest issue. I I don't know. I don't know the specifics of how it lists things, um, because I don't. I haven't actively needed to use it myself because I don't have like sensitivities to the many things that weren't needing to check on that site. Yeah. Well, I'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. That's okay. how you look sexy as fuck. Alright, I'm <laughs> listening for the goblin. <laughs> yeah, six minutes, fifty seconds. Where's normal guy Goblin Goblin? Six mod? minutes fifty seconds. 
Oh, six minutes. Perfect. Thank you. That yeah, I I sent it in the. In oh, the, I like, missed that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, you're good. You're good. of the Kakua Mom Barracks. It's already 360p, it's gonna be even lower resolution if you do that. I have to, I, we do what we must, it's only gonna be funnier that way. <laughs> <laughs> That series uh, is a Tommy gun of like witty one liners that only sometimes hits the bullseye. Mm hmm. Oh my god, you have this pop ups everywhere, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Also, like the amount of the amount of wow, they really just had Zoe because she is a uh, capital A, capital G, a girl in the series. Um, so the she got her like B spirit right, um, and at this point, there's only Tommy who hasn't gotten his B spirit yet. Everyone else has gotten their B spirit, and all of them are like, you know, nar uh, oh. really cool looking. Wow. Uh, all of them are like really cool looking tough uh, animal like creatures that are in some way like really fearsome and tough looking but otherwise completely discernible as like yeah you're you're an animal even if you stand on like two legs you're very much like animalistic in a lot of ways and so I can understand why you're a beast the entirety of like the episode where she is about to get her beast spirit um, JP who I I need to spritz with a cold bottle of water every time I see him on screen because he's he's needs to settle down. Uh, it's just like, well, what if you get your bee spirit and you turn out really scary and ugly like Ranamon did? I don't <laughs> want that for you. And it's like, you, wow, we can really tell he doesn't care about her like going feral. Like, if <laughs> the concern wasn't what if you can't control it like literally the other three could it was what if you're ugly what if you're just scary and ugly in your bee spirit and you're not hot anymore and <laughs> oh it's like God. so and then she gets her bee spirit right and it's like first of all i would hesitate to call it a beast because it's just it's just a very beautiful lady that has like wings on the sides of her head for ears and like vague harpy like legs but they're still just normal legs like she's just a hot lady that's it and it's like this is my beast spirit 
And it's like, that's not a bee spirit. <laughs> it's like not. You're, you're not a furry just because you put cat ear headband on. Yeah. Okay, I got, I got, um, I got the video. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm gonna play it really small. And hopefully this six seconds will not get me in trouble. I, you, I think it would, you need to shorten this because I think it need just for the sake of comedy and I uh, also don't know if like this breaches the like length of copyright but you, I feel like it'd be funnier if you removed like the hurricane wind part and just had her like exploding with no context like okay, when it on. jump cuts to when she's moving just get that okay mm -hmm. I, I just move forward in the video okay Window capture. Okay. Uh, here we go. There she goes. I don't know if it'll play the sound. Hmm. We're gonna find out. Yeah. Alright, All right, can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, the screen got bigger. It I just ended. Did that. <laughs> just. <laughs> oh my god yeah just like there from there on if you can just make that the entire video <laughs> oh my yeah god. like that it just needs to be the perfect length of you don't know what's happening but you just yeah. you vibe with it kind of <laughs> oh my god i need i need to get a twitch redeem that just plays the clip of her exploding <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I, I just watching that, I just imagine, like, when Umbrathul sees the gold. <laughs> the, the, the explosion. Oh! <laughs> Next life again! What happened? For a brief second, <laughs> your neck oh, just yeah. went wah. I saw it. <laughs> your fucking neck. <laughs> <laughs> Real demon uh, moments. Real demon moments. Real demon moments. Uh, Flop, I am I am making my way through Legends of Evangelist. I need to. I I am like immensely behind because for the longest time I was I just I really don't want while I'll be on the wish light spoiled until I play it. There's some modules I don't mind playing um, that I haven't played before, um, but this is one of them where I'm like, no, 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 I want to make sure I, I don't get the spoiled. But now I'm like, I don't think I'm going to get spoiled in anything, let's go. <laughs> yeah, if you want, they're apparently, at least because I'm still only in like, uh, I think episode 15 of it, um... They they have said that like once they get through the the like the circus part of it, then it's gonna branch out into like a campaign proper. Um, so I don't know how much of like Wild Beyond the Witchlight is like going to still be relevant in in this, but outside of that, like the first few episodes, the first many episodes are uh, like Wild Beyond the Witchlight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I'm just very fond of my fucking legs. Because <laughs> every time Frost has something happen to his <laughs> legs, which is a lot, it's very often. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, it's also extremely homoerotic between the, the party members. It's great. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. It's so good. Yeah. I I told you that two of the characters kissed, and then those two characters boned. <laughs> if your party isn't even a little homoerotic, you're playing the game wrong. <laughs> 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 if you're if you're straight while playing D and D, then you're not playing D and D. Having a cracker break. Hell yeah. 
I should message Frog about the idea that I have for Wes for Valentine's Day, since everyone's doing stuff on it. Yeah, we were literally talking about that earlier, because I was like, um, I was saying how I said, said to you, Cream, that everybody has Valentine's plans except Wes. Wes needs something, and you're like, oh, I've got ideas. And I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> and then Fluffs and I were like, we have a theory, but we're not going to speak it out loud because we don't want to cause it to not happen. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll just wait and see. Yep. <laughs> what does that mean? When do you like to know, weather boy? I <laughs> <laughs> like the word weather boy. Where, where's your parent? Where, where's your parent? <laughs> Sketchy kid. <laughs> Roses are a very fun zero brain cell flower to draw. Because I just yeah. kind of squiggly as if it's readable <laughs> as a flower. Oh, look, flower! Wow! 90% of art is just finding ways to cheat the brain to register a thing the way you want it to, even if it doesn't make actual sense. Yep. Like. The amount of the amount of tricks that you can do to make something look like it's in correct perspective and then realize, wait, no, this doesn't fucking work like that in perspective, and then it's like, but it still looks good. <laughs> <laughs> mm. it, it almost makes every one of those like lessons on proper perspective and how to make things look uh proportionally accurate to real life based on the horizon line and everything. It almost makes those look very unrealistic yeah. by comparison because it's like so it's so stiff and like rigid and yeah that is accurate to real life but also it doesn't because it's so stiff and rigid it loses that sense of liveliness that like a fake force perspective would have sometimes art is just about bullshitting it until it looks good also, my fucking model keeps jittering for some reason. Every now and then it'll just go like, <gasps> like really fast, like, <gasps> and I'm like, stop! What are you doing? doing that? Are you like moving your head when you No, I'm not, I'm not even moving at all. I think it's my camera trying to focus and then <laughs> the gun gets confused, but like, it's not been doing that in some today, so I don't understand. Hmm. I don't understand, I'm afraid. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Be not afraid. <laughs> be not afraid. Oh, wait. Let me show you this be not afraid looking ass Digimon that I saw. <laughs> this this fucking this Sin Eater Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers <laughs> looking ass Digimon. Hang on. Please. Show. Oh my god, prehistoric. Oh, I fucking love if I had the skill for it, I'd love to draw Umbrathul doing like the prehistoric SpongeBob pose. <laughs> and just being like when I when when Umbrathul sniffs out gold, and then the explosion. Tracing memes is fine and good. <laughs> that is yeah. true. I I have have you heard about the uh, stock meme dance? No. Let me let me link it to you, cause I'm very very tempted to trace over the image and actually try to replicate this. But there's so many steps and like, oh boy. Find it. Okay, I found it. I shall link it in uh, the chat, sure. 
Yeah. Oh, yes, I, yes, I see this. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. God, kind of tempting to want to maybe do this with Chud from my Wednesday game with the big shark guy. Yes. Decision because I couldn't quite remember. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I said, let me check real make sure. Nemon's a little sleepy boy, right? A little yellow dude with pants. Yep, 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 Nemon. Yep. <laughs> Did you see that stupid thing I said in, um. Yeah, I saw! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Okay. So, so this Digimon is Gargomon, not to be confused with Gargomon. <laughs> oh yeah, that's fucking Sin Eater right there. Oh my god, yep. this guy! <laughs> I'll show it. What a cool dude. This is yeah, also this... on the list of character designs that I wish I had done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a virus type, by the way. Cool. Putting it in my pocket. You fucking creature. Your pockets are getting full. I have infinite pocket space. Mm. <laughs> you downloaded RAM to your pockets. <laughs> you wouldn't. <laughs> you wouldn't download something to your pockets. Yes, I would. <laughs> Don't tell me what I would and wouldn't do, cop. Where are you, cop? <laughs> the amount of times our characters in our game have said, Where are you, cop? Should be like, we, we need like a swear jar, but for that instead. So I think I I think I'm almost <laughs> ready with the uh Digimon tabletop rules. I just need to like I guess alpha test it to see what does and doesn't work. Ooh. But other than that. Give it to me! What's the magic word? Tasty data! <laughs> That's two words! <laughs> <laughs> the magic Holy word shit. was wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Tell me, do you have delicious data? <laughs> yummy. <laughs> yummy. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. I can't. I can't. As soon, as soon as I, like, get hints that he's about to show up, I'm gonna just unravel. Yeah. It's not gonna be for a while, though, because that's gonna... It's not gonna happen until, like, we're well beyond, uh, Koji's brother showing up. Yeah. I'm just, I'm on the edge of my seat. I know he can show up soon-ish. <laughs> because it's in the series we're watching, and that could be at any point. I, uh, my favorite thing in Digimon Frontier is the amount of times that the kids just don't move from an attack that they could very easily avoid if they just moved five feet to the left. <laughs> <laughs> and like, like every episode. Yeah, and the writers, the the English writers, were definitely aware of this happening because there's even a joke where like 
Uh, they they tell Takuya, uh, hurry up and uh, turn into your like spirit or spirit evolve or whatever. And he's like, give me a minute. And while they're all standing there, like crowded together, as this Digimon's about to attack, then the Digimon attacks, and they go flying. And Takuya goes, okay, minutes up. <laughs> And it's like, that's the only line you write when you've watched this series and you've recognized how many times these kids just don't fucking move. Uh, there was a really good moment where there's, uh, Toucanmon, is that what it's called? Yeah. Okay, there's a group of them flying away to a neighboring island, and the leader is, like, yeah. talking to the- <laughs> talking to the others, and it's- you know what, I'm gonna have to visualize this, give me a second. Please, please. Do you want me to tell it? No, I, I, I need it. I need visuals so I can describe how it is. Oh, oh, I see what you're doing, okay. <laughs> this, let me just... Fuck it. Okay, I can, hold on. I almost have it, I almost have it. This is so important to you, have no fucking idea. I did it again, I did it. Okay, now you get it. Okay. okay. So, the Digimon's flying, right? He's looking back to his comrades and talking like this. And he's like, we gotta get to the other island, and uh, you gotta stop bickering and being weak <laughs> little babies, and it still goes, and he's like, and why am I still talking? And then it ends. <laughs> it's like... Oh, good, the island's up ahead. Now don't go flying away too far. I don't want us to get separated and I have to go looking for you. Why am I still talking? <laughs> oh my god! I don't think he took a breath during that entire sentence when he was voicing it. Like, why was he still talking? Yeah. Oh my god. It, it's so good. The amount of times you can tell where in the, like, original version, it's supposed to be, like, dead silent with no one talking and maybe some, like, music gently playing in the background, but in the English dub, they're like, we have to fill the silence with as many quips as possible. Every, every fucking second, they can't have a single moment of silence. Yeah. The character's back is turned, so you can't see their mouth not moving. That gives them the, the liberty to have them speak. Which, honestly, most of the time, just, ma <laughs> it just makes it funnier. Yeah. It's a really, really good time. I, I don't think I've, like, laughed this hard at something at, two, like, 1 and 2 in the morning since we watched this. <laughs> but there was an episode where Gabumon showed up and they got the, the voice actor from uh, who did Gabumon's voice in Adventure 01 and 02 to do this Gabumon's voice and we we saw it and Bull and I both screamed. We were so excited. <laughs> Gabumon! <laughs> we both we both looked at Gabumon and were like, "Oh, I love this boy." And then we heard his voice, and I stopped the video, and we were both like, "Is that?" And I, we just we just heard, "Check it out, I can digivolve," and we both were just like, "Oh my god, <laughs> it's, my boy. it's him! I it's him! Time. He's doing the thing! He's doing the fucking thing!" <laughs> I love Gabumon. I love Gabumon so much. I need to find my Gomamon plush. <laughs> He's in one of the boxes. One of the movie boxes. Uh, I was a little disappointed that Gomamon showed up and it wasn't the, the VA for Gomamon from Adventure. Yeah. Rip. Mm. Yeah. Brony. Oh, Wizardmon, or Sorcerermon, rather, Ice Wizardmon showed up, and he, the English voice actor for him is literally the English VA for Takuya, so you can just, like, it's so glaringly obvious that it just makes you think, wow, he's talking to himself right now. It's really charming. Also, we came up with the most beautiful and perfect idea ever last night that uh, I didn't see any fair or four, so I'm gonna say we made it up. Um, oh Wheelmon and Wizardmon. Dating. Yeah. Oh my god, yes. Because they're both the token 
We die in every season, we show up in character, and it's emotionally tragic every time. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But also, their chemistry would be off the charts. <laughs> yeah, they're both the strong island type. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> they both adopted a child in different series. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Stop. <laughs> you sound like someone outside just like accidentally stepped on the brake while trying to like start their car and their tires screeches across <laughs> the asphalt. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> David screeching. I'm attracted with so much. Yeah. <laughs> you don't fucking understand. You understand. Do you That's understand? Fair. I mean, I like I like Legoshi B Star, so I kinda understand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's named after Bella Lugosi. I know. Ooh. Okay. Proportions. I can't wait for the final season of Beastar. Like I, I know I've read the entire manga, so I already know what happens. But I can't wait to see the final season. Oh. I didn't say it about. Phantom of the Opera, I'm confused. Yeah, are you meaning you love Phantom of the Opera as much as I love Dracula? Yeah, so they, that, they're saying they empathize with you. Okay, I'm like, they don't get it. That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, let's unpack that typo. As much as you live in Dracula. Live in Dracula. Live in Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> Was it a <laughs> You love Dracula, yes, Lisbon Timothy. How far is it? Oh no, it's not big spoiler. Lisbon. Go ahead. Oh no, no, I'm just. I'm posting this because, like, I feel like I want to share. Like, you don't have to post, like, shares on the stream, obviously. I'm just saying, like, this is so good. Oh. <laughs> so good. Circle. <laughs> Circle. Circle. I'll have to watch this later. Oh, yeah, yeah. no, it's so good. Four small dads go on an adventure. How am I gonna do this? <laughs> Lovin' Drevula. Lovin'. Drevula. Lo <laughs> Lovin' Dravula is Dracula's uh, <laughs> stage name. Lovin' Lovin' Dravula. <laughs> Hell yeah. Live it the bio driving. <laughs> My captions <laughs> could not understand any of that. No. Oh my god. I like whenever my captions do a weird thing, I can just look up at them for effect. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stimuli on your screen at all times. It's like Maze Runner, baby. This is a podcast with Maze Runner on the side. Just wait until I can raise my hands at will. Then it's over for all of you. Also, I understand how much you love Dracula, because that's me about Angoramon. Yeah. Yeah. 
Leomon is my gender, but Angoramon is my boy, you know? I love Banjo so much, his favorite thing to do is scare me like that. No, that's a, that's a good cat right there. <laughs> And it's just so bad! Oh no! I'm so excited for tomorrow's stream. Hell yeah! I wonder what Pokemon we'll get. Oh. See. You have to find out. Dracula can do any weird shit during a solar eclipse. Alright, 
I heard you have data. Tell me, do you have delicious data? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> so, tell me, you are humans, are you not? <laughs> Fucking, I can't. I need to know if they did that for him in chambers. Uh, I don't know. Because if they did, it's gonna make that entire scene so unserious. <laughs> don't you mean amazing? I wanna hope that it didn't, but I also probably hopes that they did. <laughs> I'll be honest, most of the hopes of Yes. I don't know, I don't know that if it appeared in Tamers that it would ever top the Dave. The Dave. <laughs> no, I know. You know, that one's gonna be really hard to top. <laughs> For he is a big chicken. <laughs> For he is a big chicken. <laughs> oh my god, that's so fucking good. Disney god. Tell, telling you, Digimon, even when the dub is like horribly done, it transcends into a maze. Yep. Like, all you get in Pokemon is, I like these jelly donuts. <laughs> Meanwhile, the day but is a big chicken. <laughs> Do you have delicious data? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then the four kids dub also has this cool in it. <laughs> I'm gonna headcanon that in our game's universe. She's actually the voice actress for it. Oh my god, please. She got a side gig. Yes! The day, but it's a big chicken. <laughs> Digimon is bringing um, a joy to my life that I didn't know I was missing. <laughs> Most people don't. <laughs> yeah. Most people don't because they're too busy saying, uh, oh, Digimon isn't as cool as Pokemon, and it's like, yeah. I was telling, I was just in a call with some friends in my FC, and I was telling them about how we were watching Frontiers, um, and just how, like, funny the, uh, the English dub is. I hadn't gotten into any details, but, like, I basically told a friend in there that, like, uh, if he wants to, that he should play Digimon Survive, if he wants to see Digimon have a body count, and then he brought up the, like, the Pokemon manga, the, like, Pokemon journey adventure manga of, like, yellow, red, blue, and all that. And I was like, yeah, but Pokemon doesn't like to consider that. Pokemon considers that as non-canon, and also those are like the only times that Pokemon has ever had like a body count like that. Digimon would just casually have a body count if it feels like it. Yeah, Digimon takes no prisoners. Yeah, like Pokemon has to have a, a whack-ass wild time of a story that's in a manga series that barely anyone outside of Japan like knows exists or slash even read. When Digimon is just like, we're gonna broadcast to you live the deaths of many humans <laughs> at the hands Woo! of a Digimon. We're gonna broadcast to you live Myotismon literally <laughs> sucking the blood out of a woman's neck in the middle of the night. Hot. Hell yeah. <laughs> like, did you, like, I hate, Pokemon, Pokemon is cowardly with it, and Digimon will just do it like nothing, it, like it's just a mundane thing to do, so like, it just, it's really funny to hear when people talk about, like, that manga as being the time that, like, Pokemon did something, like, really, like, it's either that with the, like, Arbok, or it's the, um, it's the Pokemon uh, Origins anime with uh, Charmander and Squirtle fighting and making that screeching noise, and it's like, yeah. yeah, those are like, 
once in a blue moon rare exceptions that like only exist within a bubble, Digimon will just produce anything and like don't get attached to too many characters because they probably will die. <laughs> yeah, Digimon it just points at Ghost Game and it's like, I don't think Pokemon could ever do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you've only seen like three episodes of Ghost Game. <laughs> yeah. I, I uh, just know that the three episodes I've seen is the most fucked up Digimon stuff I've ever seen, so... Oh, I can show you worse from Ghost Game. You haven't even <laughs> seen... I can show you a scene from the... from the... the Dragomon episode of Ghost Game that's like towards the end of the series, because like... There's a lot of body horror in Ghost Game, but that one was one that was like... Even I got kind of like, icked out by it, and yeah. I don't get icked out by body horror. Ooh. You watch it sometime, yeah. yeah. There's, um... I, I actually, I think still the most fucked up thing that Digimon has done that I've witnessed is everything that happened to Judy. Yep. Everything that happened to her. It sucks. <laughs> Everything that happened to Judy and everything that happens to Zoe are two ends of the spectrum of that's fucked up that that happened. <laughs> Where it's like, Judy, you see, that's fucked up. Please stop hurting my daughter like that. And Zoe is like, yo, that's so fucked up. What The disrespect is real on her. <laughs> <laughs> the duality of humans. Yeah. I just, I just don't understand how a character like Zoe can happen after Chambers. Right? Like, what went wrong? What, what happened? I, I don't understand how they can go from, like, a group of, uh, seven to eight kids to a group of, like, roughly seven kids or so to a group of, like, three kids. Then back to a group of like five kids and decide, you know what? Of these five kids, only one needs to be girl. Hmm. And she's gonna be the most worthless character in the entire group. She's just there for, she's just there for fan service, and she's a sixth grader. Seven. Seven. No, oh, she's no, not she's a sixth grader. grader. You're right. Yeah, she's a sixth grader. JP's a seventh grader. Right. Right. Yeah, it's it's really gross. I'm like, hey, you, y'all, she's. She's 12. Stop it. Stop it. Stop yeah. it. Ugh. It's disgusting. Like, it's the ep <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the episode we just watched, or one of them, rather, that we just watched with the uh, them having their beach episode, which is really cute. They, they deserve it. They've been through a lot. Um, literally, they just had a, like, brief montage of Zoe trying out different like bathing suits and like cleavage shots pointed at the camera and it's like it like it in Japan you can have a character wear a skirt as short as they want and it's usually fine but usually cleavage shots of any kind is indicative of like a very uh provocative character who is trying to be sexually like explicit so the fact that they did that with this little 12 year old 6th grader girl is like, why? 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 It's disgusting. Yeah. No good. No good. No good. In fact, I wish I could find whoever made that decision and harm them. <laughs> no. Whoa. I would like to go up to them and say, your toe shall be stubbed. When you least want it to be stubbed. Good luck. <laughs> Walk away. <laughs> and then forevermore, they stub their toe. When the toe should not be stubbed. Every second. I would like to tell them, you know what? I hope you only have an okay day. <laughs> you know what? I hope your day is mediocre. That's right. I went there. You know what I'll say? I hope their dick fall off. What? I hope their dick fall off. <laughs> I thought it's a default, de like default <laughs> off, and I'm like, 
I hope you default dance off the side of your bed. No, I, I legit just thought I heard you say, I hope they default off. And it's like, are you, you're, you have your standard default setting is off. Your standard default setting is off, bro. You just suddenly just go, turn it off, flop. Oh my god. <laughs> Nap time. Nap time. You sleep now. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Sleepy time for you. Maybe sleepy. Maybe sleepy. Uh, also, Ghost Game Update. Because I'm in New Game Plus, and the characters that die uh, are alive in it. And I can't tell you how like good the character writing is for this game. Because these two characters are written in a way that's like... They're so fucking obnoxious, but in like a really sympathetic way of... Uh, Okay, your like your backstory explains why you are like behaving this way, but it's still like not an excuse, so you kinda like you need to take a breather real quick and just step aside. And then they fucking like when they die, it's like, okay, I was annoyed by you, but I didn't want that to happen. I just wanted you to like take a chill pill. Holy shit. Oh my god. Uh, and and then like in the route where they live and they survive. Um, because there's a point in the story where, like, it officially branches off into, like, different endings depending on the route that you're on. Um, and so it actively makes them feel more like part of the story instead of just, like, an extra set of voices in the already pre-existing story. Um, they, they're so good. They're such good kids. I, yeah, I've talked yeah. to both of them and yeah. I'm just like, yeah. I, yeah. I can't, why? Yeah. Yeah. I, I just talked to both of them and I'm on the verge of tears because I'm like, you're you're such a good kid. <laughs> you're so good. What the fuck? Hello, <laughs> Swede. Yeah. I was having a time. Yeah, I was I was ready to be like yelling at you, and then you you've come so far, and I'm so proud of you. You have such self-respect. You have oh. such healthy self-esteem now. Hell yeah, I said fuck fail. Hmm. Enjoy what I cannot. Yeah. Oh, do you have a secret allergy? Yep. Oh. oh same. Well, not I haven't confirmed the uh allergy part, but yeah, seafood makes me sick when I eat it. Yeah, like me too, it makes me fall. Yeah! Seafood is so good. I know, and the worst part is it was a developed allergy. So, oh, I, no. I know what I'm missing. Oh no, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I, I've I've never been able to enjoy it, because the very first time I had it when I was a little kid, and I ate fish as a little kid, so I don't know if that was really the seafood itself. Mm -hmm. Um. I ate some shrimp, and then I puked. Yeah. Oh. Maybe you just have shellfish allergy, specifically. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if that is. I, I just... I don't think I have any allergy that's at the level if I do have any. Cause I've never had them diagnosed, because well, I've never been anything that was lethal. Just, I mean, like... Being just allergic doesn't mean it has to be lethal. There's different yeah, levels. Yeah, yeah. Hello, yeah. hello, sir. What are you doing? <laughs> there, there's a way to find out. Eat some fish. If you don't throw up, you're good. Eat a shrimp. If you throw up, we know the cause. Yeah, because oh I, my I God. can eat fish, like regular fish, just fine. Yeah. No, same. But yeah, no, it's just I, I always like a shrimp, especially when it's like for like for dipping to eat or something, like you know, with butter or with like that one tomato sauce. I always stare and I'm like, why, why do you mock me? <laughs> Why do you mock me? I look at you, and you look delicious, and I can't fucking eat you. Oh, cockroach of the sea, why must you <laughs> mock me? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna refer to them as that from now on. <laughs> That's what they are. <laughs> yeah, no, I know, I know, it's, it's not inaccurate. Like, yeah. <laughs> but it's like I, like, I like that a lot. That it's like, ah, cockroach of the sea. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, they're such a good food. I'm gonna see how much just solid black I can put on this. Hell yeah. All of it. Whoops. 
<laughs> yeah. Go animated Batman on it and just start with a fully black background and work backwards with the <laughs> negative face. That's my favorite piece of trivia about that show is that in order to save on black ink, they just used black paper and used white ink instead. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Did you just say Nani? Yes. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> Don't you mean Doko? <laughs> Nani is Nani is what? And Doko is where? I, I know what I said. Do you? Yes. <laughs> I was meaning what? <laughs> Fluff, look at this guy acting like they know who their daddy is. Oh my god, let me see. Me no, I'm referring to Bull. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! oh. <laughs> I'm, do I'm dodging, I'm dodging, I'm bobbing, I'm weaving. You're missing. <laughs> I'm dodging, you're missing. Bob I'm dodging, weave. you're missing. Bob and weave. Bob and weave, bob and weave. Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just mildly leaning over, in fact. What do you think about this? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that. Take that. <laughs> ah, snap. I'm impressed, at the very least. <laughs> well, I don't even, I don't even, I'm just gonna press a random button and see what it does. Oh, cool. <laughs> Is that fucking... That's it. Oh, That's so it. good. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you about to do your sexy little turn on the catwalk? No. Do my sex <laughs> <laughs> Push-up. Oh, that's kind of an awkward angle for a push-up. Yeah, it, it doesn't work right. Oh, I'm squatting now. <laughs> <laughs> Sims ass clapping <laughs> effect. <laughs> dog dog. <laughs> dog dog. Wait, it's not time for dog dog yet. I know. <laughs> oh my god. I like that one. Just feels like bull, like rushing, like speed walking. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know you go faster, cause when it when like it was slower, it just looked like you speed walking. Like I gotta get five miles in. Gotta get my steps. Gotta get them. I can do so much. Like distract myself from what I'm trying to do. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, how do I wanna... I'm like, how limited do I want this color palette to be? And I'm thinking pretty limited, but I don't know what the limits are yet. No. 
Dracula, don't kill me, you're so fucking sexy, oh no, <laughs> Oh, oh no, <laughs> but what if? <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> Dracula manifests, and the first thing Fritz says is, Nice car. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The first thing they do is pull their own car show. The car show! Oh, I like, I also like the idea that, like, as Dracula manifests, like, you see all these creatures, and a rat comes by, and it's just Fritz says, Oh, shit! Alright! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Fritz, you little disaster creature, I love you. <laughs> My sweet horrible little slut. Oh my god, you know. What? <laughs> what? Um, What did you just say, Bull? <laughs> what no. did you say? Suck. Say it. <laughs> I didn't even say it again. I didn't even say it again, you heard it. Hang on, hang on, wait. What did you just say, Bull? <laughs> what did you just say? Huh? <laughs> You get me a birthday, get my birthday for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I used to love it. Oh, wait, changing the subject for no reason in particular, but it looks like my friend Twig is sitting at your desk cream. Aww. <laughs> yeah, I call them a slut. What are you, what about it? Uh, what about it? What about it? <laughs> We're fine about it! Uh, yeah, and I'd win, and then I'll start crying. <laughs> because I'll- because I'll have hit you, and you'll have gotten the- <laughs> Oh my god. Bong. Jesus Christ. <laughs> if so I have to- I okay. Good? You go. Oh, I was gonna say, if I have to fight my friends, I'll cry. I'll do it, but I'll cry, because I hurt them. <laughs> Let's say, the group needs to go gather around Fritz and just go... Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> They've not done anything over but concerning yet. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm about to click one that does not fit at all, because I do not remember what this is. So get ready. Double sign power! Okay. <laughs> Perfect. 
beautiful. I think this needs a second color. Because I don't mm. think Fritz's outfit can just be white. Let's see what works. Let's see what works. Let's see, let's see. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the, um, the funniest thing to me about Fritz and how I intended him as a character is like on their sheet information it says they're asexual. Um, That's it? It, it? I mean, it did on the document. I might have changed it since then because it's it's not true. It's not true. Yeah, I was about to say. It was true at first, and then I considered that it didn't quite fit. Sometimes a character will grow into their sexuality. And Fritz oh. did. Fritz, uh, their sexuality is Dracula. <laughs> I was gonna say, it was for the first session, and then you realize that you were gonna have Dracula, and you were like, this changes now. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. What do you mean I can romance my own patron? Of course I'm gonna do that! <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. See, I, I'm the type of player who, like, I don't discover... I don't know anything about my character's sexuality until I start playing the game, so I don't ever, like, think about it beforehand. I, I never go in with, like, this character is attracted to this, like, specific, uh gender identity slash presentation uh yeah. because i just like i end up vibing with them in such different ways every time with like each different character so when you like when on the uh the character document that you send out for like information to fill out it was listed as like sexuality i was like i i literally have never like gone into a game like having an idea of what their sexual preference is because i I'll play a game where I'm like a paladin bugbear, and then partway through the set, like through the campaign, I'm like, I think it's most fitting that my character is just Aero Ace, and that's just like, that's just fine. That's I have no valid. problems with it. Yeah, and then I'll play another game where I'm just like, wow, my character is a fucking gay disaster. I guess, <laughs> I guess he's just gay in that case. So like, I never. I never think about it. I always wait until I'm like a few sessions deep before I'm like, yeah, this is the vibes I'm getting from this character I'm playing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In my case, for Fritz, they're supposed to, like, again, they're self inserts, so I just gave them my sexuality. But then I realize <laughs> that my sexuality comes with the caveat that if my fantasy then became real, all bets are off. Yeah. <laughs> so Fritz gets to live that impossibility. <laughs> mm -hmm. That uh, that bugbear paladin that I played is like one of the first characters that ever. Uh, I played that character for a Curse of Strahd game, and that game was the first time I've ever like played a campaign to completion, and it didn't just like hiatus out into a uh, into a like, cancellation, pretty much. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love my big boy. Uh, uh, Stoic Yosef Fluffy Boy. Fluffy Boy. Well, God willing, I hope our Sunday game is something that we actually get to complete. Yeah. Ooh. We gotta have a sequel. We gotta have a sequel campaign when we go to Vegas. We do. <laughs> Why Vegas? There's so much cursed shit in Vegas. I mean, there's so much cursed shit in Louisiana, too. We just gotta do a world tour. 
I must say here, we definitely need to go to Louisiana, because that'd be fun to follow up for uh, Beaumont. Yeah. Like, Louis Louisiana, I don't know if you've ever Googled it, uh, Louisiana just has one of the, like, highest, uh, fucking haunted historical grounds amount in, like, the continental United States, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Like, they I'm pretty sure there isn't a single building that isn't, like, historically haunted in some capacity there. Yeah. There's ghosts on the ass there. Yeah. Ghosts everywhere. Wes can't go... Wes can't go into any of the casinos in Vegas. He gets scared by the loud noises of the slot machines. Oh, honey. Mm. How do you get service dog certified if he gets startled? Oh, I mean, he doesn't get startled, he just gets overwhelmed by the sounds. Okay. When you have the hearing of a dog and, like, casinos are fucking loud when you have, like, bad hearing as a human. So if you go in with, like, the incredible hearing capacity of a dog, you're basically in, like, the, like, sensory hell. Yep. You're like, everything is screaming in my ears 24-7, so it's not- it's less scared and more just like, this is- this is insufferable. I can't hear anything. Mm -hmm. Understandable. I can't wait for a next game and actually, like, I'm actually like... <laughs> Oh my god. Let's go. Ah! Yeah. You're jonesing for it. You're jonesing for it. <laughs> yeah, I, tru I truly love that, like, Beaumont and Enrique's backstories are coming fully into play. Uh, Fritz's hyperfixations and uh, personal interests interests are coming into the foreground. And, and since day one, Wes has just been vibing. <laughs> yeah. He's chilling. He's just there. He's he's just there for emotional support. <laughs> I still thinking about uh Amka going and what's your two's name? And what's a uh, and who are you two? And when she asks who are you two, she's staring directly at Wes. <laughs> <laughs> just Nobody's like out of the way. Yeah, just like uh, <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not afraid of that. I'm afraid of being shot by your dad. <laughs> Laws are conditional based on the necessity and helpfulness they are towards the the greater uh, majority populace and not just to a uh, an explicit few who stand to gain from staying in power. But being shot is being shot. <laughs> Maybe the background should be different color. Whoops. Oh man, I would. I wish I could stay to see the rest of this, but I should go to bed soon. It's gonna be sleep. It's okay. I'll post it. You can see it later. Good. Good. I will see you tomorrow for the fun world of Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. Good night, Fluff. Good night, Fluff. See you guys later. Don't get into trouble. No. And remember. If you do get into trouble, there is only one consequence. Yes! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I love that one so much. That's good. <laughs> the ding at the end makes it. Really? It does. It really does. <laughs> okay, night guys. Have a good night. Night. Name to chat. Have a good night. Have you ever seen or heard of that old uh, Nickelodeon cartoon, El Tigre? Yes! There's yes. one... There, The episode where uh, he meets his ancestor, the first ever El Tigre, uh, that character, like, the way he says goodbye, uh, has lived in my brain ever since childhood, and I, I feel like if I ever use it as a goodbye, uh, barely anyone would ever would understand that I'm making a reference. He's just like, okay, be good, or don't. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Also, he could get it. <laughs> it was really ha. Please show me a picture. All right. Oh, does he? Oh, I'm oh. I love when people find, um, the creator's Twitter and comment on his art. Like, this looks like it was for Beltane, right? And he's like, God, I sure hope it does! <laughs> I sure hope it does! He's, he's, like, I think he said exactly that at one point, where he's like, gee, I hope so! <laughs> <laughs> Roadwork ahead. Yeah, I sure hope it does. Color theory, I'm struggling. That is not good. That is not good. breathing techniques. I'm starting All to right. get really picky about this image. <laughs> You're right. <sighs> There's like very few pictures of him and they're not in great quality so they're kind of blurry. Oh, this one's okay-ish. This one's at least, like, visible, so... <laughs> this one, he doesn't look like he's in- he exists in blurs. But, yeah. Let me see... Is it the big guy? Yeah, the big guy. Yeah, you can get it. Yeah, yeah, he can. Yeah, like this is this is the only other image of him that's like popping up, uh, aside from his like skeletal form because he is dead. He is many many years dead. Um, yeah, yeah, which. Also looks good while dead, but uh, <laughs> like this is this is <laughs> this is so like low res. Yo, put him through his damn roller. This is so Yo, 
<laughs> Yo, who left them in their jeans pocket while their pants were running through the wash? <laughs> Issue a challenge at some point, which is just like to draw my Otis Mon in a way that would make you actually attracted to him. Oh, well, that wouldn't be hard. Like, again, again, my issue with him is just like two degrees separated from not being like separated from my type. He, like, gotcha. It's very small changes. Hmm. Wait, I. I just remembered an episode of Ghost Game that I need to have you watch because it features Lilithmon, and it's like... <laughs> How do I say I've never been both more sexually attracted and also found my exact vibe of just, like, existence than, than the scene that she's in in every scene in that episode? I don't know. The entire episode is her in like this uh, black cab with a with a Kerberos mon, and just like it, the vibe of it, the vibe of her in there, is just, you know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I explicitly do not know. <laughs> like, oh my god. I suppose I'll find out. Yeah, I'll I'll have I'll show you the episode. We'll watch the episode at some point soon sure. so you can understand. Oh yeah. So you can understand why why Lilithmon this is the most like attracted I've ever been to Lilithmon just existing as a character. I'm on the edge of my seat. She's like in the back seat. She she doesn't have a cigarette, but she's able to blow like this poisonous haze smoke, so it's just like Build back there in the back seat while she has uh, a hostage basically in the front uh, inputting like driving destination locations and having Kerberos Mon occasionally like go up to the front seat to to intimidate them and it's like fuck wow yeah uh huh <laughs> yeah that yep <laughs> I can't forget his lipstick. I can't. No evil. In fact, I might make his mouth darker so the red shows up. You can't forget his coral blue number two.
my verbal steam is to just quote things that are funny to me. You're valid. I think Fritz's outfit color is going to drive me insane. Like, it's not bad, but I don't know if it's what I want. Why? What's up with it? I'm being picky, that's why. Hmm. What color is it intended to be initially? Well, I mean, this, this whole thing is just color schemed, unrealistically, but their actual suit, I think, is great. Oh, I see. Go to sleep, kid. Night, kid. Night. What if I change the lines on Fritz to What if it was purple? <laughs> I tried making her suit blue, but it didn't feel right. I drink. Okay. And stretch. You know what they say hydrate or die straight. Oh, never. I'll never die straight. Yo, I can't believe Enrique knows Coyote personally. Yeah, I'm like, tell me that story. Speak up! Speak up! <laughs> well, he did meet him when he was looking into Beaumont. Yeah, but I want to know specific. I want to know more. Tell me the story, Enrique. This is something, but I'm not sure what it is yet. It's art. Art. Art is suffering. That's why it's called painting. <laughs> Love Nets declassified. Right. They were right. That's why they're the GOAT. Fussing with this all night. Ugh. Of course, when I'm finally able to draw something for myself, I have to be picky about it. Yes, you do. Yeah, I, 
I tried the gray, it wasn't working. It, weren't you going to sleep? Yeah, go to sleep! Go to sleep! What's the problem? Oh, actually, I really like that contrasting colors you have with the blue and, like, shades of red. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, my thought process was his eyes were getting lost in the shading around the eyes. So I fixed it a little. And in fact, I might need to add some more definition to his eyes. Because the eyes are the most important part. The eyes may be the window, but the stomach is the way, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man, if I... if, if Fritz were a little more on hinge, they would probably... Oh my god! Banjo did it again! Dude, I'm down here! Oh shit. Scared me so bad. That's what I was going to say. Is if Fritz were a little more unhinged, they would probably get somebody else's blood as an offering for Dracula. Has, has those. They have morals. Sorry, I was I was listening to the to the issue that Kit uh, is having right now. Uh, yes. Kit, the the solution is to either you can write it just as H M question mark because usually that reads uh, as just like a, a shorter and thus inquisitive version of it. Generally, also having the like question mark at the end will imply a like curious tone rather than a like uh, an affirmative tone. You can additionally just write in like a uh, I have a question and then follow it up with like mm -hmm, they uh, and like, you know, and you know, general narration of it being uh, uh, responded to in a like curious intonation rather than just like question mark and quotation mark. Dogfish, I don't think that works. I don't think it happens like that. I don't think that's legal. If you ask for boba in it, they'll give it to you, no problem. <laughs> That's... Have you seen All Saints Street? No. It's a very cute mini-series. It's originally Chinese-made. It was originally, uh, like, an, uh, an online webcomic, like a, a manhwa. Yeah. Uh, very gay manhwa. Uh, very toned down for the, like, actual animation. Really cute. Uh, highly recommend watching it. But there's just like this one brief joke where one of them is a vampire who is also just like a neat pretty much. So he makes his he makes his money by like streaming during odd hours of the night since he's nocturnal. Um, and when he's like running low on blood, like when he needs to drink blood, there's literally a like blood equivalent of a like bubble tea stand that he can go to to get it just 
a container of blood with tapioca balls in it. That's beautiful. It's really good. But yeah, I don't I don't know if I help with your problem in any way, kid. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you did. Unhinged. That's perfect. Ooh, that is unhinged. Yeah. Look at these freaks! Why Fritz hasn't told Enrique yet about Dracula? I think they're just forgetting to at this point. Because it's not like they don't trust him. He's just someone who hasn't happened to be informed. I don't I don't know that I understood any of what you just said, I gotta be honest with you, I'm sorry. It's okay. I don't know why Fritz hasn't told Enrique about Dracula yet. Oh, uh, okay. 
because he's the only one in the party that doesn't know that he's a thing. Sherman, stop. Stop. And Rico would be the least likely to care as well. He would just be like, oh, okay. I know. It's just, I, I think Fritz is just forgetting to tell him. I like that Fritz necessarily didn't even tell Wes. Wes was just the first person to figure it out. Yep. <laughs> Beaumont, like, passive reception 17, isn't able to figure this out by context clues. Wes watching uh, Dracula for the first time and noticing something's up. Wait a minute. <laughs> hey, why are his eyes going in a different direction than last time? <laughs> hey, we've watched this a lot and I've heard it in the background a lot. This isn't how it's supposed to go. This isn't right. Am I Mandela affecting right now? What's going <laughs> on? Just <laughs> squinting from beneath his bangs. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You know, I suppose, um, I won't say specifically why, but, uh, everything will find out sooner than rather than later. Is it because Dracula is going to kill Enrique? <laughs> yes! Sit him! No! You're not allowed to kill your friend. No, I'm allowed. Off limits. Forbidden. I just tried to look through our DMs to find that image of Rurumon from How to Survive that I showed you, and I yeah. forgot about the the wave of name on that <laughs> was in there. So I scrolled up and I was like, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> we were unhinged. We had a moment, whoa. favorite thing in a monster collector series of any kind is when a monster is uh, significantly larger than each human than you would think them to be because surprisingly very few monster uh, like feature capture games willingly do that if they do it's only like a creature that's like a little bit taller than a person with like very rare exceptions and in those exceptions it's like noted how large those creatures are and it's like no just make the creatures all of them big, and some of them, like, pretty small, but relatively speaking, all of them big. You have the power, you can do this, you're the creator of this creature, you can you can make this thing as the size of a car. You can do it, I believe in you. You can do it, you can just decide it, it doesn't need to be the size of a normal, like, dog. Oh man, the jersey really came out of me when I said dog just then. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> I, it comes out when I'm mostly like agitated or excited, but uh, the dog. Dog. Yeah, I get that, and uh, a 
a very good friend of mine who I care very deeply for has pointed out that I also say job. Right? I say it in a weird way. <laughs> I say it like J A H B. Yeah, just you off blast off. yeah, I'm like, I'm one degree away from being like full Jersey accent and pronouncing water as water. 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 Hey, at least it's better than water. That's true. Water. 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 It's very good. Thank you. Oh. Can you do, oh, can you do me a favor just because I want to see how it is? Can you make like one, just one layer above everything? It's like full top. Uh, set it to the fill tool like purple and then set the opacity very low so it gets this like kind of grainy old school like on TV effect about it. You know what I mean? I don't know what you mean, though. No. So, make one layer and just set it to the, like, top most, the, like, absolute above everything, so it's, all, like, separated from everything. Yes. Uh, fill tool, make that entire layer purple. Like, what, what purple is? Uh, that, you can go a little darker. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Uh, and now set the opacity, like, low on that layer. Like, yeah, yeah. German stop. Stop. Yeah. That sure. Cool. Yeah, doing that gives it, like, any image a kind of, like, old school on TV kind of effect to it. It's, yeah. like, not graininess per se. And there's a lot of different, like, ways to go about getting a really good, like, classic rainy look on an image, but that's a very, like, easy kind of, uh, oh, this aired in, like, the, the 90s to early 2000s kind of effect to it. I got, a, I got one to show you. So what I did was I just merged everything and copied and pasted on top of it. Oh, yeah, and it blur this one a little bit. And then lower the opacity. So it's got, like, a bit of a haze to it. Oh yeah, I like doing that where I like duplicate it and then set it a little bit off to the side so it looks like it's really like fast motion vibrating. <laughs> oh yeah, that's here. Here. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that's like got that perfect graininess effect to it actually. That looks like it's on an old CRT. Ooh, look at this shit. Okay, like I did that as a joke, but like but like now it looks now it looks like this was aired on TV. Hi, Hi. I'm finishing up. Now I kinda went add like a static filter to it. <laughs> yeah, give it like scan lines. Yeah, we're gonna fuck this thing right up, hold on. I have one saved somewhere. I don't suppose you could like wave store shit that a bit to me. Oh! Brave, brave, brave! Hello! Hello, Magic Campus! Thank you so much for the raid! 
I'm drawing Dracula in my OC because I, I, I am in control of my own destiny. Welcome everyone, you're witnessing Bull get sweaty over Bella Lugosi Dracula. Which happens every day, so get used to it. <laughs> Thank you so much! Thank you for the raid! What were y'all up to? How was your stream? And what were you about to suggest? Great. Oh, I was gonna- sorry, I've been doing it in my mouth now. Uh, I was gonna suggest, uh, Sai doesn't have, like, a distortion, like, wave effect, does it? I don't. I don't think so. Alright. Because I was going to suggest doing that to the, uh, to the layer that has the, the tonal stuff on it. Yippee! Yippee! Thank you, not this for the follow. Not this E for the follow. Thank you, thank you for doing the shout out, uh, Twig. A lot of meme art. Let me go look. I must go proceed. Yay! Checking for your VOD immediately. Let's give it balls. Three. Balls! Thank you. Thank you, Twig, for balls. Your meme art is fun. Also, your character looks really cool. Okay, back to this. Wait, okay, Craig, what did you... Like, what do you mean, like, a wavy thing? Because I don't think I understand. Oh, no, it, uh... It, it's mostly because I work in Click Studio Paint, uh, which has, like, a filter on it that allows different visual effects from blurs to, uh mosaics and other kind of stuff and one of them is like a wave filter that you can set that like makes whatever is selected uh all just kind of like jittery and staticky in a way uh, if Sai doesn't have any filters like that don't worry about it i i don't use Sai, so i had no idea yeah i don't, I don't think it does yeah there's no if problem it does, I've, I've never seen it yeah If I... Ah, there we go. That hurts my eyes a little less. Thank you, Magic Chemist. This model was, uh, designed by me and modeled by Lord Dragon. Yo, thank you, pal, for the info about Clip Studio Paint Pro being a perpetual life. Uh, Clip Studio Paint Pro perpetual license on sale, twenty bucks right now. If you are wanting an art program to work in that is also very easy and like user friendly, highly recommend Clip Studio Paint. Yes, it is a good program. If I was not so used to uh, Paint Tool Sai, I would be using it. You know how you get used to Clip Studio Paint is by using it frequently. Oh shit, hold on. No! Fuck! There's like this tiny stray blue dot on Dracula's lines that is driving me crazy. How could this happen? How could I let this happen to him? Kid, go to bed! Go to bed! <laughs> Kid, you have work tomorrow! Wait, this isn't Wesley. <laughs> this is, uh, this is Fritz. But they do look almost identical when they don't have colors. Not, not your Wesley. 
Okay, I was about to say... I know you were going to get confused about that. I know they look so identical, it's because both of them are self-inserts. <laughs> but both of them are just me. Yeah, if they look identical, it's because it's just the same person. Yeah, hold on. Corporate wants you to find the difference between these two pictures. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's Fritz and Sh Banjo. Holy shit, that's the third time this stream. Banjo. You can't just do that. Uh, Banjo does love Fritz. Um, Twig, Banjo has jump scared me three times during this stream. Okay, this is Wesley. My Wesley. I did it! I'm showing you right now! I'm showing! I'm showing! This is my universal monster character. Who also fucks Dracula because I can do it more than once. <laughs> this one, this is basically what if Renfield was a little more stable. <laughs> yes, and actually not turned into a vampire. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, if if I put Fritz in a suit, they're near identical. Yep. So the confusion was so valid. With it. Oh, show the group pick. Okay. Y'all ready for some, like, maximum level self-indulgence? Yeah. Twig and I have a roleplay where our OCs are in a massive poly relationship with every universal monster. <laughs> including two of my demon characters. Slug, 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 yes, slug! Yes, yes. They do fuck that slug. Really important for people to know that. This is one of my favorite picks ever. That... Uh, back right uh, is Coyote, right? Yeah, it's Demon Coyote. Why does he look like he's in a Russian folktale where a young boy is about to tell him not to take their spoons? What the fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> what did you just say to me? Is that, why does he look like? Why does he look like Baba Yaga's husband? Is this referencing something? No, it's just visually the way he looks in that image is like, it's got, it's got. <laughs> I can't explain it other than like Russian folktale art style. <laughs> okay, I mean, I guess I could see it if I, if I guess. Sure! Yeah, the, um, the Twig wants me to say or talk about how Slug Man up there is about to have a child in the roleplay, and it's very cute. His first child, he's never had a demon spawn before. Hold on, we're showing things off. This is Twig's character. Your mic just cut out? I just said aww. Okay, <laughs> it was just you moved and it was dead silence. <laughs> aww. <laughs> Thanks. Please, I love it too. This is all I think about all the time is this little silly roleplay we have. Okay, but now that I've got it, um, that little bit of blue fixed. I have to merge it all again. Oh, I still have Wesley open. Get out of here! on the edge of my seat every time I go to bed, like, do they want to? Do they want to roll for yet? <laughs> okay, let's do this again. 45. Sweet. 
to the side. That one can stay as it is because it's blurry, nobody will notice. No! Take the strip away from him! I don't know what else I could add to this, but I feel like it needs something and I don't know what. That's a good question. Yeah, I, I, I can't, I can't tell. Oh, wait a second, I made a movie, that's what? Is it, is it missing bite marks on Fritz's neck? Well... <laughs> I guess it is. I think you're completely right. I think you're 100% right, and also I have to watch that clip. <laughs> wait, wait, that clip in my server. Say, kind of Russian. Yeah, he looks like a Russian folk monster. <laughs> it's a good clip. <laughs> <laughs> No, Coyote Demon, don't cut my spoons. <laughs> if no one's ever read the like original story of Baba Yaga, I I recommend it just for the part where she she like breaks into this house just to count the spoons that these people own, and the kid comes out of hiding to yell, "Don't, <laughs> don't take our spoons, or don't touch our spoons, or something like that." <laughs> she has severe OCD. That's her entire deal. <laughs> she, her, her OCD specifically requires her to break into people's houses. It can't be just like going to her own house and counting her own spoons. Nope. She still how many spoons her neighbors have. <laughs> <laughs> their crazed yellow eyes make more sense. Let's do this again. It wasn't the Pokemon Prize, Gene! <laughs> Thank you, Norse teammate, for the follow. Goldie Roger. What this? Enjoy selecting your stream avatar so that I can look over the ball with admiration and fondness. Oh, what are they spawning us? Oh, they're a Dragon Ball character! Nice. Yay! Fuck yeah. Thank you, uh, Chris Aloo. Chris for the follow. It always takes me, like, way too long to read people's names. 
Yeah, it's sometimes hard to tell just because font makes you go like, is that is that an L or an I? Yeah. <laughs> I just can't read. Also, Chris Little spawned in as Ghost Freak from Ben 10. That's cool. Yeah! yeah! First up, okay. Note taken. Welcome, Versa. I love having just the widest variety possible on my stream avatars. Yeah, this is a wild fanfic I'm watching right now. Yep. Jeez, there's so much. You got Cult of the Lamb, Dragon Ball, Monster Hunter, Kirby, uh, Digimon, and Ben 10. Oh, and, uh, uh, Diablo. Norse T just changed, but the character is too small. I can't tell who they are. Who mm -hmm. Uh, Norse T. They were oh. the Dragon Ball character, now they are tiny girl character. I can't tell who they are either. Why are you so small? <laughs> Explain your smallness. I think that might be from one of the Castle Mega packs. Some of them were not resized. Oh, well, no. Now they're starting down the character. This is like TV. <laughs> good night, kids. It's good sleep. Night, kid. What's an Amy do in my stream? <gasps> I'm your biggest fan. Thank you for creating Minecraft. <laughs> Say goodbye. Say God. Hatsune <laughs> <laughs> Miku does not interact with British people. I don't know what that's referencing, but you're right. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to say this is done. Also, there's a track that I will copy this play right now where there's just a woman moaning in the background and it just threw me off. Skipping the song, but I think it's too funny. <laughs> Nobody get mad about the lady moaning at this Okami OSG. It's a PG. It's a PG game. Bring me forever. Surprise! Either noise, like, startles you. Well, it just comes out of nowhere. I mean, it does, but you also have it uh, as a redeem, so you should expect it. Man, just because it's there doesn't mean I'm ready for it at all times. <laughs> Ooh, 
Ooh, I like the light. Yeah, I'm trying to have a board that doesn't clash too much. I think that's fine. <laughs> the longer I look at this, the more I'm like, it needs a big font. Oh, creature. A creature. Oh, shit. <laughs> Where you're supposed to be, hold on. Just floating like that. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what this was made for. I I'm messing. He feeds. <laughs> Hi, pal. No. How are you? First of all, no. Second of all, you're in between them. What do you. What I'm, do you I'm, I'm eating the sweat. I craved that mineral. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I. I'm like a goat. <laughs> I I need to do something, and I don't know what, but I need to do something. I hope you can figure it out, buddy. <laughs> what, what are you gonna do? I don't know. But like, I'm scared. <laughs> Can I have Cal cling to your arm cream? Uh, yeah, I'll try not to talk that much, but that way it stays within, like, relative location. I know, if I put them in a correct, in a specific spot, they'll be fine. Oh, okay. See, look, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chewing on your shirt now. Sound effect on my Discord soundboard that can be Here. standard. Here, I got you. He's pulling his cock out! Yes! <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Persa! So, before the little creature invaded the space, what were you saying about Big Thought? <laughs> saying because this has uh clearly poster movie vibes it needs like big font in like weird perspective that is just like uh a name of the movie followed by like the names of the the actors oh shit like that's not a bad idea but what would i even name this movie love at first bite Funny. Funny. Ha 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 ha, funny. Am I wrong, though? <laughs> no. I mean, you are actually wrong because Fritz was in love with him before the light. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> hmm. Thank you, person. Love sweet. sucks. Love, love sucks. sucks is a good one. Oh, shit. <laughs> love sucks is good. Damn. What if I just... <laughs> what about Bump in the Night? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Red versus Blue Romance. <laughs> 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 That's pretty funny. Oh god, it's almost one of the morning y'all are killing me. Okay, let's, let's workshop this. We can do this. Put my watermark on it first. Yeah, like center it so that it looks like you're the director. <laughs> uh. Oh, not the bottom. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Put that there, and I'll make it a less intrusive color. There we go. Okay. Font. I know I've got a good one in here somewhere. Bump in the night, is that what we're gonna go with? It's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's up to it's me, good. but like, I've, my brain cells are degrading as we speak. <laughs> I'm. Whenever I join the chat, it, I feel like I 
exponentially increase that. Yeah, a little bit. It might be the best way possible. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> yeah, I love seeing what you heinous beam your your fuki takes the shape of each time the uh the being on all fours while your head shakes viciously <laughs> really got me <laughs> thank you it's really good my brain just like completely stopped all words while i'm trying to think of name Ugh. hold on i'm about to dance for a second <laughs> oh my god, you should make it a, a redeem to make you dance, like Gongam style or something. Oh, you need this? No, that's not it. No, that's not it. There it is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That way, you imagine you're like having like a really serious conversation, somebody just redeems that. It'd be so funny. I probably could. It is, it, it doesn't loop either, so that would be a good one to redeem. Mm hmm. Ooh, the Macarena. That's a good dance. Oh, I don't think I have that one. Fuck. I'll have to get it. You've got the funky chicken, though. I do, and yeah, also, I'm a, uh, yeah, I just made myself fat. <laughs> oh. I, I have everything on hot keys, so if I type anything, chances are I'm gonna start doing some weird shit. <laughs> just start moving around. Yep. Can you make yourself die again, just real quick? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> when I revealed this little gremlin, I was so tempted to play like the you know you know the sound a dog makes when it drinks from the water bowl? <laughs> Have that sound on my server soundboard. Oh my god. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> you, can, <laughs> to you can you can set so that way when you join a voice chat it plays a sound clip. Uh, yeah, I know. But All right, Percy, you're about to I used to... Here, let me <laughs> Diddy time. Where are you? I used to have it, but for some reason it wiped itself. Um, it was this. No. Oh my god! <laughs> Anything but that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just. I th no, I think I took it off because somebody got really mad at me. What? They were like, you can't, you can't remind me of that. Cursed me. And they like got really loud and I got sad. Well, they're no fun. Yeah. Do you, do you, um, Parsa, are you proud of, are you, are you proud of what you have wrought? I love when people are like, what the fuck does Titty Time do? And then they find out. <laughs> <laughs> chaos, chaos. Chaos. I just can't even think of what text to play here. My, my brain is exiting There we go. Like I think this. I fixed it. Oh, It worked. When you lean your head back like that, it looks like somebody's like grilling a steak instead of like it being your face. Boxes and big day and my boy can sure grill. Boxes and big day and my boy can grill. Oh jeez. Come on, how come I can't- my brain just won't do text? What's happening? The autism Riz, and the girl dad Riz. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I 
I think the text needs to be inside the layers anyway. And I'm about to do that stupid layer motion thing again. Okay, top text, Dracula, make it bigger. I'm gonna dance. Oh, text. I just did it for a second. Dracula, uh, 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 I love the widow speak so much. Such a big fan of it. Gotta love a man with a receding hairline. Don't talk about him like that. <laughs> no, this is adoringly. This is adoringly. I'm not making fun of him. We're talking, we're talking about my man. We love yeah. old men in this household. <laughs> Stop eating me! <laughs> no, this is the perfect spot so you can actually punch me. <laughs> Sim for balding people too. Um, I made the character that I'm currently parading as uh, Sim for a bald fan wizard woman. Nice. Yeah. Gotta love evil necromantic wizards. Is that a decent spot for Oh, I have- I have the best title? What? For the movie? Yes. The Necromance. Yes. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Okay, go. Uh, <laughs> never mind. I, <laughs> I, Dracula's neck romance? Say it. Oh, this will be damn, my boy can breed. No! What? <laughs> huh? My face hurts. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stick with bumping the night and then maybe I'll be I'll put like uh, a descriptor text where you know how it's like scariest movie of the year or uh, Martin Scorsese's best work. Uh, what if it just it, it's it doesn't going slobby on the hub 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 -y. What? Oh, it, it, uh, Gungeon on my pencil to a hinge. <laughs> I found it. I, I found it. The original. But honestly, my favorite is uh, ending on my knees or till I scrooge. <laughs> what was that awful one you sent me, like, earlier what? today, Paul? Yeah, I'll show it. I can just show the post. I'll take a screenshot. That post fucking killed me. I'm like the worst co-host because I have ADHD up the wazoo. Literally. 
literally all of us. <laughs> Derail your brain. I also have eight. Yeah. We I are have not eight. normal. I have ADHD, but it's the ADHD that keeps people on task, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, mine switches. I'll either stay on one task for six hours straight, or I can't focus on garbage. Anything. Brain's garbage. Okay, here we go. Whoopsie doo. Yeah, I feel much worse. He died to yell my Rogers until my whoopsie doo. <laughs> I hate that one. <laughs> Tower out on my bowl until like bottle. <laughs> what is that sound supposed to mean? Is that like shushing? I'm gonna just make the horrible sounds into the mic. This is what you heard. Oh, you're giving me. Are you giving us kisses? <sighs> what the? What was that sound like? That's just me like gently blowing into the mic. Uh, oh yeah, what I said earlier was slobbing on my hubby, uh, but I, I like couldn't think of like something that meant like sucking <laughs> that rhymes with hubby. Hey, I got a new soundboard that I'm gonna turn into the Glubby on my hub. I got to What? What was that creep? I added a new soundboard thing that I, I want to turn into what plays when I enter a call. Uh, how do I how do I do that? <laughs> how do I do that? Uh, I just said it. Okay, when, when you open your soundboard, uh, right-click it, and it should set, set a server entrance in. Thank you. I'm <laughs> just starting clapping. <laughs> it's all the it's all the microplastics in us, honestly. Oh, here it oh comes. floating. God. <laughs> Why are you Oh my god, they they were uh they were like all pixely for a moment. Oh. <laughs> it was all pixely. Cream soda. Oh. Okay. That that's a uh, that's the audio clip uh that plays when Bowser is about to enter a fight in uh Bowser's Inside Story. I love that. Well, I mean, what was one more funny thing we said aside from a blooming necromance? I need mean, one more funny phrase like that. I was that love sucks. Yeah, it was love sucks. Well, there's. I don't want to use love sucks because Fritz having the time of their life. Spell it with two My C's. love sucks. Yeah, it's a pun. They, it doesn't suck. They just suck. Suck. So. But like with the reverb. So. Thank you. Maybe what sucks should be at the top of it. Should be up. This is so. Having the time of your afterlife. Right now, yeah. I sure would have done that. 
Guys, what's your favorite stim? Tell us in chat. Hello, uh, white void of names. I always speak English, I am sorry. And it's just saying, like, dumb things, like, incomprehensible words. <laughs> that is such a funny stim. Lightning like, Dogfish, you are amazing. Unfortunately, my go-to one is, um, it's, I, I, uh, it's skin picking. Because I have a skin picking Oh disorder, my god, we're it's, twinning! It's, yay! Yeah! That's not my favorite, but it's yay. the one I do the most. Yeah, but what's your favorite? Like, the one that you like, that it happens. Just yelling. Yelling? Just yelling. Relatable. Like that. <laughs> sound I do. Beautiful. I uh, I like copying the... <laughs> meme. I'll just do it randomly in the middle of a call and people will be like, what are you doing? It's like, uh... <laughs> uh... I don't, don't know. Or I'll, I'll echo a meme somebody just said over and over again. What the fuck Like the that? ebbing on my knees are till I scrooge. Stop. What is that? No glyph. No what was even there before? You have no glyph. A Chewbacca growl? Hersa, that's beautiful. Boy, you have no glyph. Fuck, <laughs> I have no glyph. I have no glyph. Glyphless. Glyphless behavior. Glyphless <laughs> behavior. Oh, I... Oh my god. I have the perfect... Okay, so one of my... One of the my fellow players of a DD game is exploiting a spell. Warding Glyph, I think it was called. I I'm going to give a DM an idea to have them dispel magic on the their bag of holding so they stop cheating at the game. Oh using that. Yep. Yeah. So it, I'm gonna just say glyphless behavior <laughs> after that. Blasted. Yeah, because they're cheesing the game and not making it fun for everybody. It's stepping on everybody's toes. What are they doing? Uh, so technically, Glyph of Warding, you can't move it a certain distance away from where you put it. Yeah. But, since a bag of holding is a fixed space in the Astral Sea, if you put the Glyph of Warding inside the bag of holding, it is fixed. So you can spam Glyph of from the bag of holding to cast that spell. That's the dumbest loophole because you can just cast Glyph of Warding on like the bottom of your chute. No, because it's moving. Oh yeah, not if my shoe is not, not, not if I'm not walking with my shoes on. <laughs> But also, but also that wouldn't work because it's only the space inside the bag of holding that is a fixed space. The bag itself is moving. So unless yeah. they're about to go the, into the, the bag, the DM is being a little bit too lenient. They also uh, let something use a magic item that, you know, can't control the weave to use a magic item. Uh, they use their homunculus to use a magic item and technically can get away with it if it would be able to speak and do the gestures. But unfortunately it can't speak so you can't use magic mouth for that, but they want to use magic mouth for it. Because the unfortunately in the Forgotten Realms, the wave distinguishes each very well. The weave discriminates. The weave's racist. What is the weave? 
The weave? Yeah. It's like what structures magic in D and D? There's a there's a structure of magic in D and D. What? <laughs> yeah, it's like what keeps magic together and functional. I I've unfortunately delved way too deep into the Forgotten Realms lore. Because my DM is obsessed with it, so I have to do re I'd have to do my research before session. <laughs> just look at your player and just look at the player that's like doing this stuff and ask him ask them, uh, how do you feel about goblin? And then we respond. Just say, how do you feel about Goblin these nuts? And then just get them for the night. Ooh, that's good. That um, really unfortunately, fun. I can't say that to the DM, because they enjoy Goblins a little too much. <laughs> then the DM will love it. The DM will be so overjoyed Oh, the by DM's it. gonna love that I made that joke. I made, like, a Goblin version of Camille. Like, a Hobgoblin version. Yeah. They were obsessed. <laughs> Okay, I'm Gotta love goblins, much. especially the Baldur's Gate 3 goblins, that's where it's at. Okay, here we go. This is the final fucking merge and unmerge. Okay, made it big. Okay, I can see it now. That's good. Very good. <laughs> it's a little creature sound. Take a rest. <laughs> Your body moving. <laughs> Watch this, duty nerds. I can bend. So can I. You're not special. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing it right now to aim my mouth closer to my mic. What can you do this? Sorta. <laughs> no, because I like my neck. Let you me you switch one. Know, I'll be able to do it. I, I, I need y'all to know that when I finally moved my neck just now, it made a really loud crunching pop. Ooh. <laughs> Bull breaks their neck on stream. <laughs> Bull neck cracking ASMR. It, it wasn't bad. Um, it was definitely jarring. Okay, I'm saving. I'm saving. Save, save. Save, save. save. Ooh, I have an idea for a redeem for you. What? Um, it, it's a, it's literally just, it does a little sound, I don't, I don't know what sound yet. Like the Windows error sound. And it tells you to save. This, the, the canvas. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, give you a heart attack, but it, it makes you save it. Well, I don't fix something. I thought you were putting the tablet down. I know, hold on. I, there was something that's bothered me and I want to make it a lot better. Okay, I'm gonna save it. Okay, I'm gonna save it. Hang on. I, <laughs> I've got a redeem you can add that would drive you up the wall. What? No, what? <laughs> it would drive Where? me up the wall, especially because I have notifications muted. Stop. Oh, oh 
That would make me go insane. You can't do that. <laughs> Is that Skype? Yes. I like that I meant this to be like a really pretty piece, and then I just put jokes over here in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, when you feel like you don't have art to post, you can just post the alt without the letters. Sure. That works. Please, please make this the redeem. For what? Just in general, please make it a redeem. <laughs> Give us the silly You have the power to use it whenever you want. That's true. But I have to be in the call with you to uh, to use it on you. It doesn't work on me as much as it works on others. I've never played Zelda. What? Well, then why do you have it? Forgot to harm others. <laughs> <laughs> harm others? <laughs> I, I like this. I could, for any Splatoon players out there, I could use this to harm them. Right. Oh, oh. That harm my brain, I don't even know where it comes from. <laughs> That's the horror boros in Salmon Run. Ah. I'm saying you did. Save time. Saving as a PNG, there's no going back. There is going back if I want to, but there's no going back. Great. Here goes. Uh, what's your favorite way to make friends, guys? Favorite way to make friends? Yeah, like favorite approach to making friends, I guess. Mine is like spamming gifts at them. I don't know. And being funny. Making them <laughs> laugh generally, I guess. The humor approach. I don't know. Yeah. A, a game plan, it just kind of happens. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Improv. I like it. <laughs> you just start talking and then suddenly you're friends. Like, I don't know what the formula is. I'm autistic. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one, Norse. <laughs> Your body just convulsing. <laughs> I have one of those like little keybind thingies uh, for my tablet, and I'm trying to figure out if I can set, turn off that it's keybinds for stuff on my keyboard and just use it as keybinds for like stream stuff. That would be nice. Yeah. Because it's 18 buttons, and there is no way in heck I'm gonna f remember what is on them. So I'm yeah. just gonna toggle random shit. Oh, and I'm getting to streaming soon. Because uh, I'm going to be this in the US. Hmm? I want to see the stream! Yeah! Uh, it will be in a couple months. Because I'm going to be going to the US and I'll have decent internet. Yeah, Careful. I'm just visiting the US. Careful. Careful? You're, you're going to be in the US. That means you're going to be that much closer to me ramming you with my horns. It's fucking terrified. Well, if you don't happen to be in, like, the hell state... Full, uh... Hold on, that describes a lot of states. Uh, Florida. I'm gonna I be in Florida. Florida. Oh I my god. 
<laughs> Fear. Are you coming to Florida? Yes. Are you going to be in North Florida or South Florida? North. Don't dox yourself. Don't Holy dox shit. yourself now. No, okay. Proud to me what time you're going to be in. Holy shit. Okay. I'm in North Florida. <laughs> Don't fuck you. Stop fucking I'm doxing not, We're not gonna dox ourselves. Florida's huge. Florida's huge. Florida's fucking gigantic, unfortunately. <laughs> that doesn't stop people. Okay, IDM, do the, the city I'm gonna be in. Hold on a second. <laughs> the, the fucking, the, they're gonna type and their body's just gonna ragdoll. Kyle, oh, that's two hours and thirty minutes away from me. Drive. That's like crazy drive? close. Oh my god. Holy shit! If I could drive. Oh, you can't drive. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I, ne I never got a license. Okay. Is there a bus? I, I would not recommend uh, U.S. public transport buses, at least here. Uh, well, you I'm not making my partner places. drive me no, to go visit a friend. <laughs> I, don't, just, I don't want him to drive me. They just throw a dart really hard, and I'll get you. Yeah. Holy shit, I can't believe we're gonna be that close to each other. You're like, oh, are you in the Hell State, Florida? Yes! Actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try Wait. and see if I can set something up so we can meet up. Man, that would be that nice. That would be very fun. I need to take you to my favorite restaurants. Don't do what I- don't do what the friend that I was gonna meet up with in Texas did, where I had a nine hour layover, and I was like, Sure, I can, I'll, I'll hang out with you at the airport, because you're one hour from the airport. And you have a vehicle. And they never showed up, and I just stayed at the airport for nine hours. <laughs> That's awful. Uh, I'm so sorry. I still rag on them for that. You're still friends? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna drop the rest. He was like, I'm gonna run D&D, &D, and I'm like, you fucker. <laughs> oh, man. I forgot it was on D&D &D day, pal. And I shake him. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna switch to the starting ending screen. I don't know where Pal's right. gonna end up. Oh, broken transition. Wow. Okay, Pal's up there, I'm behind Creative, and everything's <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for being big. It's fine. It's fine. We're figuring, we're figuring it out. It's really funny that I consistently stay in place, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you, yeah. I never have to move you around. Um, the last time Pal was on this screen, uh, he had, like, a little jittery dancing Fujitech one. So yeah, I it was I, dancing. I think I put you on top of someone's head or I just put you over the corner because it was funny. You were- it was the one that was moving, right? Because you yeah. were on my desk yeah, for that one. Yeah, the, the shmovement. Uh, the one on the server that's called, like, Ballin. Yep. What the hell one? Yeah, you were- I- you were briefly on my desk for that one. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A good time for all. Alright, is anybody I know streaming? One person that I know of is streaming. I don't know them personally, but I do follow them. Yes. <laughs> Read time. But why did you get tall? Stop it. Sit down, stupid. Okay. <laughs> See, what, what is Demon Queen VD up to? Just now starting. Oh, they're playing Starfield. 
I just, I, I like tapped over to her stream to see what she was up to, and it's on the stream, starting to see the screen. Bull, sit down, why are you standing? Stop it. <laughs> He's full body stimming right now, let him alone. <laughs> it's fine, it gives you more surface area. Yeah. To cling to. Alright, I streamed longer than I expected myself to, but that's fine, it was necessary for all that. Um, all the brain cells I lost from the funny jokes. <laughs> I, I hesitate to call them jokes. <laughs> Phrases that were humorous. That's more accurate. <laughs> there we go. She, uh... Alright. Raid time. Yes, raid time, baby. Alright, uh, Demon Queen Vivi is playing Starfield. If you don't want spoilers, don't go into the raid. Um, but otherwise, thank you all for coming. Uh, thank you all again for the subs and the raid. I am deeply flattered. I appreciate all of that very much. You two, like you specifically found, look, I can, I can just pop your head for it. Look. Look. <laughs> no! I'm within violence range. Alright, y'all. Uh, get it, Snacks. Uh, take your meds. I have to go take my meds because I forgot to. Um, Hydrate and do your stretches. Take care of yourself. Good night. Hell Satan. I love you. Dog dog. <laughs> dog love dog. Love you too.